Everybody, welcome. We are in episode six of the Sandbox Adventure Troubles in Otari. We have our shorter game times uh, while Zach and I are out at the Minnesota Renaissance for the next at least a couple more weeks still. Uh, but today we are also missing Nate. He's off on his own adventure separate from us. So um, I hope he's get, getting experience points because we sure are. So uh, <laughs> let's not make uh, uh, too much uh, introduction. Let's just kind of get it wrapped up so we can have some fun with our game because we don't have a lot of time today. Uh, so previously, our band of misfit adventures are attempting to start a delivery service within Otari. Uh, with Galantine Delivery suffering the loss of their centaur employee from the eyes of a basilisk, the weight of Otari's deliveries has fallen on us. Do you guys feel it? I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm feeling it. It's heavy. <laughs> Blart has taken up the mantle of security while we rely on, while we rely on Libe to add some... Uh, some uh, no nonsense tactics to get our situation to get out of situations. Uh, it seems Barnaby is getting us into. <laughs> yeah. Up until now, Venick and Ophi have been uh, pretty quiet, so we're gonna we're we're gonna try to uh, prod them in uh, to get some conversations. But Jisk has been our reliable healer. Uh, while doing some deliveries about town, it become evident that there is a sinister force at work, a plot hook, if you will. Uh, someone or something has been summoning hellhounds to attack the farms and parts of the town. Uh, the party has already faced down one of these beasts. Uh, we sent it back to hell, yeah. Uh, but now Clort, operator of Otari's flume uh, that keeps the logs flowing into town, has been seeing signs of charring on the flume. Uh, hey, Michael, why, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the flume is and how it works for Otari real quick. So Atari is a big lumber, uh, lumber town yep. and fishing, but lumber mostly is what it's known for. And the town of Otari proper sits down uh, a, a massive cliff, like sure. a hundred foot cliff. And the flume is part of the, uh, the whole apparatus that brings the, the logs down into Otari proper to have them shipped out. Um, and it, it, it is the lifeblood of Otari. Cool. Well, we're from Minneapolis, so, so uh, we're from Mill City, so we're all we're all about that. We know all about that, but we're about flour mostly. So, <laughs> milling flour, not so much wood. There are sawmills. There are sawmills. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and they never go flour. against the grains. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and this was Granary Road. Wait a minute. We're all kinds of things are are, are it's all coming together. Yeah, yeah. it's all coming together. Yeah. So the party, uh, we we staked out uh, the flume. Now, waiting for the eminent hellhound attack. And we didn't need to wait long, if you remember. <laughs> yeah. The, the hellhounds charged into the scene as the party hid within the nearby foliage. Our, our reluctant hero Blart, <laughs> a.k.a. Scumbug, a uh. goblin who was attempting to escape his past, brushes with Absalom authorities, couldn't escape the hellhound that has now <laughs> put him down. Honestly, Lee it's been known to happen. Yeah. Libe did all he could to aid Blart, but now finds himself standing solo against one of these beasts as the rest of the party is uh, emerging from the second hiding place to the south. Jisk, who is not here today, but Mike's going to play him so that we can actually get some healing because we're going to need it. Yeah, bad, bad time for the, for the healer to be like, I'm just going to stand here. Pretty much every time, the, any time is a good time for the, not bad time for the healer to go. So Jisk, our uh, NPC for the day, has tossed a torch out after casting the light spell on it. Venick has climbed onto the, to a flume support pole. That's what you did, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are uh, ready yep. to strike from above. Uh, let's see how we get out of this mess. So uh, here we are. Mike, you want to wanna take us through uh, what's going on? I think we already are. I mean, we're an initiative and everything still. So... <clears throat> uh, yes, we are. So uh, the round has refreshed. We're starting with the Hellhound number one. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the round refreshing. Uh, the last round, uh, we already saw what happened. Uh, did you also mention that you heard something rustling to the north? I did not because I forgot about it. Yes. And I, and I, and I, don't I don't want you guys to forget. Also, you yeah. all have one hero point now. Remember that. I'm using my hero point. Right now? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'd like to redeem this point for one extra hero, please. Yeah. If that would really help you in the odds. Uh, 
the the hellhound that's engaged with Libe and uh, Blart snarls at the first hellhound, who basically turns and breathe. Mm, yes, it can breathe again. Uh, breathes again on the um, the flume. Uh, oh, that hell! This one here is breathing on the flume. Mm-hmm. Stop that this flume, evil creature! And then you also see it kind of uh, lean down and start chawing uh, with its massive jaws, uh, like. You ever seen a dog tear at the at the oh, it's focus like of a table? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what it's, it's not doing. Let go. Gnawing, gnawing on that uh, okay. that support pillar. Okay. Uh, so that's what it's doing. Um, Libe, you are up next. Okay. Um, can I take an action to seek for that sound to the north? You certainly can. I uh, before I, I fight this thing, I'm gonna try to. See what's going on here. I got a 16 perception. <clears throat> yes, you hear something. Or is that, sorry, is that a, a secret roll? I guess it's it, up to the It end. is, but that's okay. Uh, okay. You hear something coming from this square. You you know something is there. Which okay. square is it? Oh, that one right there. Okay. Don't worry, it's, it's clearly going to be cavalry coming in to save us. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> All right, that's one action for you. What's next? In that case, I'll swing my great axe at the hellhound here. A 17 to hit. That misses. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Um, and then I guess I will... I think I'll step closer to... To scumbug to try to cover him. Okay. <laughs> nice. All right. I think that's. Uh, it would be Blart, but uh, actually Blart has moved to um, Zisk. Actually, goes next. All right. And Zisk will. Um, two action heal. And two action. Two action. Yeah. Uh, Sacrifice actually, the body, Zisk. Run. <laughs> uh, yeah, Zisk please. runs to here and he reaches over and slaps <laughs> Libe uh, with a protection spell. Nice. You are now protected. You get plus one to your armor class, plus three versus summoned creatures. Whoa. Ooh, nice. Mm. Nice. What spell is that called? Protection. Protection, protection. from evil. Protection from evil. When you cast it, you choose what, you know. Oh, I see. So. Nice. So, it's, you, you, so, you know, plus three to your armor class, it's like you're standing first. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's what he does. That, cool. That was a good spell. That was a good thing. And. Blart, now you need to make a death save. I'm sorry. What what uh, what do I need to roll for that? Just a d20. D20. And then you need yeah, to get right. ten plus your your uh, so. de- death level, right? Yep. Your, your dying level. Oh nope. So All that's right. a five. <laughs> you are dying two. Oh boy. Uh, Jisk is planning on something. Give, give him a minute. <laughs> but he, he wanted to set up. Please. He wanted to set up Libe to to <laughs> tank. That's right. good, yeah, yeah. Libe yeah. will say, um, uh, help scumbug, I'll, I'll shove this thing out into the open. Yes, that's, that, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Pretty good Zisk impression. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with it. I'm like, I'm loving it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Uh, the Hellhound uh, now has this glowing holy warrior as this protection from evil surrounds it. Ooh, it's like I feel radiant. Yeah, you are. You have this like this slightly glittering like just bubble around you of, of protective energy. And that pisses the hellhound off. So it's gonna go uh buck wild on you. Twenty three. Twenty three meets my current AC. Oh okay. Uh just nine you are good. So nineteen actually total points of damage as, as evil. You feel the evil come through 
bursting past that bubble and this fire, this hot fire and evil and then piercing into your skin. So, uh, yeah, these things are nasty. Uh, <laughs> they burn about as bad as they look. <laughs> I'm uh, kidding. Okay. But the second attack misses. And the third attack misses. So it's this thing wants you out of its life, out of existence. You are an affront to it. All right. Well, uh, Venic, you have the high ground. Okay. So Venic is going to shoot this hellhound here. Okay. Bang. 23 hits. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. So okay. you hit the thing and you hit him for <laughs> minimum for damage for two damage. <laughs> ah, that's so horrible. Well, I, for my second action, I um, at least get I reload. <laughs> yeah. I reload. I should, hey, Smokey, come get me a fiery mongrel. All right, is there a third action that you're doing? I don't think it's really worth it. Well, he's Not much he's I can do there. Reloaded. Right. Yeah, I reloaded yeah. for my second action. Yeah, so you got a third action. Are you going to try yeah. to intimidate it or anything? Let's see if I can try and um, I mean, try you, and intimidate him. You don't have eyebrows like I do, but <laughs> you just uh, might have to. Well, let's see what I can do. I'm not. Something's happening. All right. Um, Liebe, you hear uh, something. Coming up behind you uh, through the woods. Uh oh. Great. Um, and it sure is now. Friendly. It is now coming in from this direction. You you kind of you hear it. Uh, it wasn't as stealthy as it thought it was. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Sometimes it's good to be, if you're going to die, I'd like to be surprised. Like, literally be like, I'm doing dishes, all of a sudden, <laughs> drop dead. Well, it was fast. <laughs> right? Honestly, yeah, it might be the best way to go. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. Heart attack, okay. where you, heart attack in your seat versus like, you know, yeah. the, the, the slow fall. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, that, that feeling I'm, where you're like trying to not fall. Yeah. Like on ice and you're, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Round refreshes. Hellhound number it, one breathes again. His his uh, recharge it again. His his has been recharging really fast. Um, uh, oh no! And then it's gonna gnaw more. You hear cracking from that from that. Uh, there's there's definite damage going on there. All right, my gambler's fallacy. The gambler's fallacy tells me that Hellhound number one will not be breathing for four rounds now since he did it three times in a row. <laughs> I that don't makes think perfect we sense. Can... So, to Barnaby, that makes perfect sense. I don't right. think luck works well for Hellhounds. <clears throat> Libe. Um, okay, I'm going to attempt to shove this Hellhound away from Scumbug and myself. Oh, I'm going to do really poorly. Oh, no. <laughs> um, mm. Shove? Mm. Isn't that a... Isn't that a... That's athletics? A, that's a... Whoops, my bad. Yeah. Athletics is... Not, not much better. better. Wow, that's <laughs> not any better. The dice had already much. decided. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in that case, um, the next biggest threat to my party is probably that thing sneaking up on us. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to step cautiously further into the woods with my axe raised do i just bump where are you going <laughs> <laughs> we're being flanked um i i feel like i'd be able to swing my axe pretty pretty well through this i mean it's an axe it's underbrush it's what i'm supposed to be mm -hmm. using for right so could i just like swing at that space in front of me just a big yeah, you see something Parking when you get swing. there. You see something in there, so it's concealed. Give me a D, uh, D20. You need um, DC5. 
Um, actually, if I if I see it, could I yell at it like, "Are you a hellhound?" <laughs> <laughs> you don't see. <laughs> it just no. ask people if they're hellhounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you're gonna feed them. <laughs> oh no, we're, we're gonna feed them. We're gonna feed the hellhounds. So just swing at them. It's a like hellhounds. We will. I swing at them. Yeah. Well, I'll try. I got a 19 for that uh, D20. For the uh, flat give check. me a. That's the flat check. That's the flat check. Okay, you you missed. Oh wait, no, no you, hit, you hit. You hit. Sorry, it's the other way. The way. Right. The other way. I went the wrong way. So now you can attack it. Yep. Go ahead and make your attack. Okay, that was the flat check to attack a creature I can't really see. Think of it like blur from 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 well, being blurred where you have a chance of missing. Okay. But instead of having a 50% chance of missing, or fat, instead of getting disadvantaged like you would in 5e, this just means if you if you roll a five or under on a d20, you 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 miss you hit the blur. And Actually, it's yeah. four or under. Four under. If four. you get five, you pass. Right. Or five. Sorry. Is, if you get five, five or more, then you then you would hit the creature. Otherwise, you hit the blurred image and not the real creature. Okay. But I can see him and I can swing and I can <laughs> I still can roll a one on my attack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Two ones already. This is already going heck. really well, you know. He, this guy sounded sounded like a, a ringleader of some sort. Hero point, I wanna try to re-roll that. Come on. Twenty two to hit. Alright. <laughs> a lot mm -hmm. better. That hits. Sneak up on me. I swing. What do I hit? <laughs> I mean, more more specifically, <laughs> who, who, do I, who did I just hit with an axe for six points? Of tell, me it's Plort. <laughs> tell me it's Plort. Tell me it's the evil dude. Yeah. With oh. Oh. With heck yeah. Six points? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a rather large creature. Um, and let me pull up his little... Um, What is that thing? It looks gross, honestly. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's a bugbear marauder. Quickly, somebody looked that up in Archives of Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the fact that they put labels on the top. It's too bad, but that's yeah, okay. I, know. I mean, like, what can you do? Honor system. Libe doesn't know what a bugbear marauder is. You probably yes. know what a bugbear is. But yet, yeah, he knows what a bugbear is, and he knows this guy looks weird. So yeah, you like, ah, Jet, 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 know that. what's the bugbear stats? <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was uh, shove a step and a swing. Okay, yeah. First. This is a situation where I should probably use the point out action at the next available opportunity. Mm -hmm. You can do that now. <clears throat> no. Oh, I, I used all three of my... Well, I heard I'm attacking them, right? I just have a flat, I just know that something's there probably. Yep. Although we are pretty From where close. you are, you can't see anything. I mean, that's that's a lot of brush between you and there. Libe you might not even at, be able to see Libe. Libe will at least call out. We have unseen attackers. All right. Um, Zhishk will. Uh, it's going to do a medicine check. On, um, no problem. Uh, in fact, what does he get for plus? Plus nine. Oh, he has a crit. So Ooh. four D, Blart, you get four D, is it eight, 48? It's know. magic, it's, it's, I don't know what he gets. Battle medicine, for. battle medicine. Battle medicine, I don't know what he gets D10. Oh, no, that's for spells. Okay. That P, not for. So you get 48. That's great. Oh, um, shit. All right. Do you need to roll it or do you want to roll it? That's pretty, pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I mean. 17? Looks like yeah. you rolled it. 17, 17 back. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> nice. All right. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, Blart is back among the land of the living. All right. Put that over there. Um, and. Glad you were alive. Then just me, will, <laughs> me too. You still have to fight. Focuses and then phew, this emanation from him, and bless? he casts bless. So anyone oh. in that, right, can you see that kind of pink square? Ooh. Make it not pink. Yes. Okay. 
All right, like but, a blue or something. Yeah. Cool. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate it. All right, cool. So, so that is, if you're in there, you get plus one to your attack rolls. And I believe saving throws. Bless is awesome. I get the saving, so plus one against fear. Uh, blessings from beyond, blah, blah, blah. You and your allies gain plus one status bonus to attack rolls. Um, yes. Okay. So cool. you get a plus one to your attack rolls. Nice. Perfect. All right, Blart Maul, you have plus one bonus to your attack rolls to hit the knob in front of you who just knocked you out. Yes, there's this snarling uh. thing who now just has this lizard and you to pick from. All right. Uh... Thanks. Uh, good luck. And he steps back, <laughs> leaving the zish there. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> he's gonna sh- try to shoot him in the face. I was waiting for you to head to Epsilon. I'm mean, like, I'm out. So did I'm out of here. Bye. No. Did you All crawl? Right. Uh, okay. I guess he'll stand up, move, and then shoot. Did you pick up your weapon? Is that all right? Uh, then I guess he has no actions. Then. Oh no! If, if he wants to step away, yeah. Or are you going to yeah. shoot him right there? He's like, nope, uh, don't want to do that. No, I am absolutely getting out of the way. <laughs> all right, and it is Hellhound uh, number two's turn. Well, since all he has is the thing in front of him, he is going to attack. Why did I? Why didn't I raise my shield? Why did I raise my shield? Yeah. Um. Why now? Jishk is about to die. Warrior needs food badly. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, he's get hit. Of course they hit. The bad guys hit like every time. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use my liberating step reaction. Nice. He's gonna get. for resistance to the, I'm assuming, piercing for his teeth. Okay. Nice. And then he can get a free step. So just takes 14 points of damage, and he is going to take that step. Have him step here. Uh, all right. Yeah. And... Uh, well, it's just going to follow <laughs> and attack again, but it does reduce the number of attacks he gets. And pitiful. Miss rolls a one. Uh, all right. But Jisk is hurt. All right. That's its round. Venic. Venic is going to run along the flume here to this point and shoot straight down at this guy. Okay. You want me to make an acrobatics check for that? We balance. Is there a balance? Um, do you have steady balance? I don't believe I have as a feat. Yeah, that's a feat. Um, yeah, no, I don't have that one. Okay, make an acrobatics check. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard for a man full of panache, such as yourself. Yeah. He's pretty good. Uh, 23. <laughs> Um, yep. You just, Do I get panache for that? Just, no, you don't. Oh, you should get a panache for that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, it, it's a cool look for a swordsman. Yeah, Very, it does. Uh, Pirates awesome. of the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm voting panache. All right. Yes. I'll give it to you. Okay. Team panache. We okay, bullied our we'll... DM into giving you stuff. <laughs> it was More. a move yeah. full of panache. It was cool. I love it. Okay, so give him the purple for panache and what are you gonna do with him i'm gonna shoot him are you gonna finish him down and shoot him i'm gonna finish him Mm. if i can (laughs) not this time (laughs) what'd you get i got a nine you roll another minimum there's another another minimum i think there's been like three natural ones already in this man this is not these things are bad luck I think panache is bad luck. <laughs> the hounds of doom, <laughs> making our rolls bad. So, okay, that's two, right? You 
moved, uh, fired, and yep. now what? I'm going to reload. Okay. And, and Barnaby. Is something Next else time. you want Yeah. Graham, Next time, elbow. jump off the top and give him the people's elbow. It is. <laughs> There's got to be a, a finisher for that, right? <laughs> Uh, if you take the wrestling, uh, wrestling uh, dedication, I'm going to move to here. So five, ten, fifteen. Up, 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 up. Uh huh. All right. Question is, does he see me? Because I was hiding. Do I have to? What is your? Oof. Do I don't I do I have to beat his? Do I have to beat his his perception, or does he have to beat his my perception? I have to beat his perception with my hide, right? Yep. All right. <clears throat> it's um, a little confusing how that works exactly. So. Well, as well, you're doing the action against him, so right. you're doing it. You're against his perception. Makes um, sense. Makes sense. All right. And you can, you can roll that. Perfect. All right. I'm rolling my stealth roll, which I don't really have, but we're gonna see what happens here. Oh, but I rolled a twenty-one. Oh. All right. Dang. Uh, he is off guard to you. Nice. So I run here off guard. Plus, I have a plus one for just shadow uh, looms uh, over the hellhound. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna so I have a so I have a plus one and he's off guard. Hopefully, we've got a lot of ones. So hopefully, you know. So that's a status. Fingers crossed. Hey Barnaby, would you be able to like step further, or is this, was that the max? I, I want. Well, no, I want. I, I want the plus one for being blessed. Uh it's fair. Yeah, I will move afterwards if I can. But um, all right, here goes. And I roll the nineteen to to, to hit him, but I have a plus one for being uh, blessed. And he's off guard, which gives me it would, would hit his armor class if his armor class is twenty two, assuming he has no other negatives. So the one from your sword is a is, that's not a from magic weapon. What kind of bonus is that? It's plus one to hit. What kind of bonus is that? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Is it a status bonus? It is. Is it? Oh, it's a weapon bonus. It's an item bonus. Yeah, it's an item bonus, right? Okay. Isn't that plus, then it stacks? Isn't a plus one bonus on item bonus? I'm pretty sure. But it's from a spell. So yeah. I'd, yeah. No. Well, it's from a, it's from a rune. I have a I have a rune that it's whatever rune gives me that 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 sword that is the smoking sword or whatever. Okay, then so yeah, that yeah. <clears throat> so so all I'm doing is I'm making it a, a, pl a plus one striking weapon. So I'm gonna attack it. All right, plus one striking weapon. And all right, you hit. Okay, cool. So now let me do some damage to this thing. Uh, Take some of damage. the heat. All right. So bonus damage is going to be plus two for my for or. Uh, w plus five because he what's his what's his bonus because I could get to trigger the cold is it five yeah five for that and then I get to add two for using my esoteric weapon against him so a total of seven and then I get to add a d8 on top of this two d8 well uh, it's it's a one d8 plus d8. my what's that it's two d8 it's a striking weapon. right but my one d8 is already factored in so it becomes so I only add one more one d8 oh yeah. got it yeah so I will submit that damage so I did uh minimum damage of course oh. yeah. it's just the way it is we've rolled so many ones today at least you hit him that's yeah true. that's true and i did one more point of damage with on my d8 everything's coming up <laughs> one nice so 12 total yeah so i could have i could have did like way more but yeah every every attack and damage is like one i don't know it's like we're cursed every plus one matters every minus mm -hmm. one yeah man every minimum all right, yeah. um, and then I'm going to attack him again because uh, why not? I have a nat five. Um, I could hit better. I don't. I don't have nothing else I can do with him, and I have all. It's not hit. crit fishing. It's believing in yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I rolled a seventeen, so uh, and I have plus three, so his yeah. armor class is twenty-one or less. I would have hit him. Yeah, how do you have plus three now? He's no longer. You only get off guard on the first attack. Oh, okay. Then I didn't hit him. That's okay. Yeah, he's he's aware of you now. <laughs> <laughs> you you made sure of that. Yeah. But your yes. sword. But you do aggro, so good job. Uh Wolfie. I think I did the least Wolfie. amount of damage to him. I had to like raw aggro. <laughs> Cause you Wolfie. popped out of nowhere and nice. Zishk hasn't done anything to him. Libe ran away. Wolfie's hey, going to I headed off here. A, a flank. Yeah. Scumbug ran away. <laughs> He's going to attack this hellhound with his uh, mind spear. Mind spear. Do it. Do you mind? Oh, wait. That was a range strike. Hold oh. on. That's not the right button. Mind weapon. 23. What is this? There you go. That hits. 
eight Ooh, points. Nice. And then I will use my third action to raise my dueling cape and raise my AC by one. And I have an 18. Nice. And then right. I'll, does Bless give me an AC? No, plus one to, to, uh, to hit. To hit, okay. All right. Oh, nice. He's this feeling this good. thing is going to... It was it was gonna set up to do all kinds of nasty things to you, but now it's just gonna stab. Didn't it. want it to. Nineteen. No, uh, nineteen you. will be hit. Um, that? No, that misses you by hit. far. Yeah, I think my AC to him is twenty-one because I've still got the aura of protection. Yeah, but he's not summoned. Look summoned. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's just a plus one. But, but you're twenty-one. Missed. Yeah, he misses. Still pretty uh, good. And he's going to try again. Ooh, misses horribly. He's uh-huh. like, and, <laughs> and he is going to bug out. Bugbear is going to bug out. Wait, get away. back here, you evil creature. Yep, and it's difficult terrain, so he doesn't get too far. All right. Round refreshes. Hellhound one. He is going to try and clamber up the pole and attack you. Ooh, interesting. And let's give him an athletics check. He's a highly trained hellhound. They're not. <laughs> they're not mindless animals. They have. They have some intelligence. Do they have like really big claws? Yeah, they're they're yeah. He scrambles up. He does get up, and oh, he's going to bite big. at you. Oh dear! Put him in the water. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, but only a fifteen. Throw him in there. Oh, fifteen armor class misses. I'm sure. Right, Benic, what's your armor class? My armor class is is eighteen. All right, it misses. And then it, it, it drops down because it couldn't stay up there. It just like scrambled up a bit and then drops back down. And then... How far did it drop? Um, just five feet. It's only 10 feet up. Okay. So he just dropped five foot. Um, and he's going to move to flank with Barnaby. All right. Or not with oh, Barnaby, geez. but flank Barnaby. Uh, means. Uh, round with uh, Liebe, you are up. This right, will I flank him right here. This, fight. this flanks him right here. Yeah, flank for a flank. Yeah. I step in and I prepare Good. to swing. 28! Oh, critical! Yes! That's the damage. Rope. That's the. That's Is the this the turning for. point that we were looking for? On <laughs> Clebe says, be banished. Damage. That's a nine. <laughs> Did you roll critical? Is that critical damage? No, he oh, didn't. No, never mind. Let's try critical damage. Yeah, roll critical yeah. damage. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 32. So what is that? That's 12 on twelve on the die plus four times two. Yeah. Uh, max damage. Nice. You did Ooh. max damage. 32 points okay. of damage. Okay. <laughs> Hellhound disintegrates. Please tell me it's dead. He, he's he's down ten percent of his hit points right now. <laughs> yeah, he's actually that was a glance. Okay, <laughs> just turns to dust. Nice way to go. Oh. I uh, pry my axe out of the dirt and yeah. uh, use lay on hands on myself. Whoa! And regain six hit points. Nice. All right. Good oh, round. Yes. Excellent. Very, very, very powerful blow. Critical hit for max damage. Maybe takes awesome. a deep breath and uh, prepares to, to swing at the next one. <clears throat> All right. Zhishk is going to... Uh, he's going to reach over and cast magic weapon on Libe too. So now you have oh. a plus one striking weapon as well. Yes. Oh, and man. And he is going to back up. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to increase his emanation. 
wall. There. So he's just like puts this 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 uh, aura out to encompass all of you except for Venic. He decided to nice. go somewhere else. All right. <laughs> Uh, Blart, what are you gonna do? So, uh, I am going to do a pistol twirl against that bugbear. So I do a deception check against your um, uh, perception DC. I rolled an eighteen. Um, no, just because no? he's he's in cover, like he's in like heavy cover, so he doesn't really see you. All right, then uh, I guess flip that to the uh, Hellhound then. All right. I, I, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's like you can't really, I should take him off the thing, but you you can tell where he is because he's not trying to hide. No, I'm, I don't because I'm going to, I'm going to kill that, that, uh, hell, uh, that bugbear in a minute. <laughs> okay, so uh, 18, Maybe just I guess, blast him. the Hellhound's perception DC. Uh, let me look at that real quick. I think is perception DC or is will mm-hmm. perception. All right. Uh, where's eighteen? Just misses. Oh come on, buddy! With the he's uh, got a plus one, doesn't he? <laughs> the emanation. <laughs> yeah, if only. Nice, nice right, try. Uh, Nice try. Then I'll I'll just shoot at the the hellhound. Um, that's a oh. twenty eight to hit. No, nope. <sighs> that hits. And it's max damage. damage six points or eight points of damage. Excuse me. Nice. Rally. That plus eleven to hit is just huge for you. That's awesome. Honestly, yeah. I don't deal a lot of damage, but it's like I'm gonna hit usually. <laughs> yeah, and the, and you max uh, the damage. Yeah. Yep. All right. So eight points of damage on the hellhound, and final action, I will reload. All right, uh, Hellhound number two is dead. Sad. Oh, that's triumphant. Yeah. Uh, Venic. Venic is going to jump up in the air, do a somersault, and land here, and smack at this one with my kopesh. And do you have catfall? I do. All right. And I'm an expert in, in in acrobatics, so. You sure you want to land it's there? A step down. <laughs> or here? <laughs> yeah, you want to land there. Good call. Okay, you had to fly. Yeah. Okay. okay, and not uh, to tell you how to play, but <laughs> okay, I just wanted to make sure that, that I understood where you wanted. That's to land. okay. Just, just yeah. good. Okay, a twenty-one to hit. That hits, nice. especially when it's too, uh, especially since he's uh, okay. off guard. Roll your damage. Yeah. Is this the kopesh? Yeah, this the kopesh. Is the kopesh. Nice. Yep. That's a big curved sword. Slice into him. Yeah. What'd you get for damage? Four damage. Okay. For six points of slashing damage. Nice. And I also yeah. want to trip him. All right. So you moved, you drew your weapon and attacked. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're done, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the, so- uh, the trip ability on that Kopesh just means that you don't need a free hand to use that trip action. Correct. Got it. Okay. Correct. Cool. Yeah. So you it's could just... technically, well, no. You could run around with a pistol and a Kopesh, but you need a free hand to reload. So maybe not. Uh, mm-hmm. Still just like a really cool uh, visual of you coming down with the Kopesh. Absolutely. On this yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, like a Legend of Zelda attack, like a helm splitter. Barnaby. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. It's a swashbuckler. Going- He's all about the show. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use my use my uh, sorcery ability, which I rarely do. I rarely trip in my sorcery ability, and I'm going to trip in warp step, which allows me to get get plus five to my movement for a total movement of two strides of sixty. So uh, I'm going to move. That's I'm going to move, fast. Uh, no, five, ten, fifteen, twenty to here, twenty five. And then 35, 45. All right. Barnaby. So I'm running through the woods whoosh, with my magic wow. weapon. Like, my thing is going, just crackling. And I'm going to attack that uh, that bugbear. 
And I'm like, I, Bugbear Marauder, you should have never had your name labeled <laughs> on your screen. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have been more daunting and afraid of you. But this is this will be Mike's undoing. As I roll a one, I'm sure. But let me let me attack. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the dice have to say. Oh, oh 23. nice. That hits. All right, cool. Sounds like I Barnaby studied Brack. Was already foiled. All right, Finish I run forward, and I mean, I do. Uh, the, what is the, this guy doesn't have any esoteric lore or anything on him, but I just get to add my I get to add my plus six or plus d eight to the damage. So I hit for my damage is nine, and I but I get to roll additional d to eight because I, I'm using the uh, magic weapon. So I do two more, so I hit him for 11. And then one additional fire? And one additional fire, yes, because so he's not immune to fire, right? He's not immune to fire. Okay. And he, is he is he weak to fire? Do I trick trip a fire with it? I am just asking. Nice, nice, nice try. Uh, and I yell, and I, and I, I yell, would be really I yell, odd. there is a bugbear marauder, which I did not metagame to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the sneaky one. Kill it. Ophi will, he's going to use his telekinetic rend focus spell. Um, and so two bursts, uh, five foot emanation bursts of psychic energy, one by that hellhound and one in the corner here by the bugbear. All right. To go off. Um, well, let's see here. They make saves. Saving throw 14, or of 18 fortitude. Nice. 18 fortitude. <clears throat> All right. Where they take six points of damage. Uh, Let me see if there's any bugbear makes it. Mm. And the hellhound. How fortuitous. Uh, this this bugbear brought it out of plot armor. <laughs> uh, Is that a status or an item? Uh, the hellhound, however, fails. So what happens? He takes. So he'll take six points of damage. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just basically two bursts of five, five damage for. All right. Eight. Anything else? Uh, no, that was just my. That was not an amp, by the way. That was just my level just one your, spell. Just your standard. Yeah, standard. All right. Um. Oh wait, but that was a two, uh, two action, and my third action, I'm going to actually step up here and flank this hellhound. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, the bugbear. Yes. Is going You're to. You're not exactly a monster that I would hunt, but I'll make an He'll exception do. for you in your case. <laughs> You'll do in a pitch. He's going to just swing at you with his long sword. I do have a amazingly be- good armor class. <laughs> Uh, 14. It's going to probably miss. No, you actually missed me, you fool. That will teach you to try to have white eyebrows as nice as my eyebrows. And it is a battle of the eyebrows. Then he, it's going to grab you. He is He is the white eyebrows versus the dark eyebrows. No, don't burn his eyebrows off. Actually. So, uh, what's your... Is it fortitude, right? Your fortitude I, DC? My fortitude C- DC is one second here. It is a 17. This thing reaches out, grabs you. No problem. So you are now grabbed. That is all right. I don't mind. And then it's going to... He did get a minus five on his attack, yep, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah. He broke pretty good on that one. It's um, all right. He can, he can punch you while he's grabbed you. But Rude. he missed it terribly. So essentially, he's grabbed a hostage. <laughs> Yeah. Barnaby? All as right. a hostage? <laughs> Round sure refreshes. The hellhound <laughs> looks at this nice clumped group of people. Well, and he attacks Vedic. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> he turns around. Yeah, to remember, Vedic goes deaf from above. These other four fools did nothing. Uh, I think you just wanted to use that new tool from Row 20. It's awesome, though. I do love it. Uh, Yeah, he can get the three of you. Tactfully out of range. So this thing planned (laughs) planned it out. Good job, Bart. Lart. Yeah. And and we need a DC 
19 reflex save. Oof. Oh, boy. That's hard. Save for half. Um, in that case, I'm going to use my liberating step reaction on Zhishk again. Is it in against an attack? Um, it says the trigger when an enemy damages, grabs, or grapples your ally, as yeah. long as they're both within 15 feet of me. So I'm okay. kind of a, yeah. hoping that spell counts. Yes. Feels right. Yeah, it feels sure. right to me. Right. Yeah, they, uh, Zish gets four resistance to fire damage and gets that free step. All right. Uh, if I was a protection mm -hmm. fighter, I could protect somebody like that, but I yeah. am not. Uh, Zishk fails his save throw, though, so he's going to take the... So 14 points of damage with if you made it, or if you failed, uh, 7 if you missed. So Zishk was 14 save. minus 4, though, so it's only Yep, 10. I know. Nice. Again. But he's looking really bad. Yeah. It's all right. It'll be all right. I believe in you, Zishk. And he will take that step back. And Nate, if your if you dies while you're away, that'll just teach you from to, for abandoning your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I will make we'll have to make Nate feel really bad. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, you come back to your character. He's actually only level two, and he's really oh. weak. He's hurt. Ophi, what'd you roll? <laughs> Who's Doug? Who's this character? The reflex yeah. <laughs> did not come through. You have to. This will not be nineteen. 24. Wait, 14 damage if I fail this? Yeah. Okay. Kofi made it. No, oh, nice job, Ophi. 24. Nice. Dang. <clears throat> but the Hellhound has one more action, so he's going to. No. He's going to bite at Ophi, this weird looking thing in front of him. Mm. 19? Yes. Oh. Oh. Um, no more reactions. Sorry. <laughs> That hits. So seven, thirteen. Are you evil? No. All right. Uh, Seventeen points of damage. Wouldn't he? Be, <laughs> wouldn't he be good to take the damage? Because he does. He does evil damage. No. He gets, if, if they're evil, they don't take damage. Right. Oh, I see. I apologize. Yeah. That's why Blart doesn't take the evil damage. I am yeah, today. Blart, I, Blart has benefited from that. I'm feeling kind of <laughs> evil right now. Seventeen. <laughs> huh? Puts me pretty low. Yes. Ooh. All right. Let's see. All right. Libe, what are you going to do? This thing um, just breathed. All right. I uh, pray to Milani. I say, oh, Milani, keep us free from these horrible, from the jaws of these horrible creatures. Uh, I use desperate, pa desperate prayer. I get to restore a focus point real quick so that I can walk up to Ophi and lay on hands. Uh, you gain six hit points, as well as, actually, I always I keep forgetting to mention this. Um, you get plus two to AC for a round. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's... So take uh, six HP and uh, two AC for a round. Okay. And then I think Desperate Prayer is free. It's my... It's, a, it's just a once per day paladin thing. Yeah, it's a reaction. Mm -hmm. So you're good. Okay, so that means I've spent my reaction for this turn on desperate prayer. Yes, Maybe. correct. Okay. Um, but then, yeah, I have one more action this turn to swing my great axe at the hellhound. Be gone! 24? 24 mm -hmm. to hit. Nice! Uh, 24 hits. Chop it. Seven slashing damage. Oh, well. Hey! Yes! Down it Dissolves went. Dissolves into dust. You hear it from, ah. you hear, you hear from the woods. Ah, uh, this white, this white-browed freak is trying to grab me. Keep him there. He's the ringleader. He needs a trim. <laughs> All right. I've got uh. a trimmer. <laughs> Jisk is going to do a two-action heal on himself. Whoa. And then he's going to increase the emanation as well. Look at the emanate. Look at him emanating. His mom would be the emanate. world's <laughs> eminent cleric. His mom's going to be really proud of him. <laughs> oh, my, my Jisk. Yeah. And he's going to do his 2d10, right? 
I don't know. She he does. You have to look it up. All right, I'll do that. Um, it's Blart's turn. Yeah. What are the rules of? Because Barnaby's grappled. What are the rules of shooting into grappled for two E? Hmm. I don't think there, there, is, there is anything. It's just the cover. The fact that he's in the middle of woods, he's cover. He's cover. Yeah, you, yeah, you got to roll. He's got heavy cover from you now. Is that five? Four. Four. And then yeah. Oh, so it's so his armor class is four better because he has heavy cover. All right, uh, then I'm just and he's, con- uh, yeah, he's concealed, and then he- so you have to roll. Uh, you have to roll. All right, then uh, use your champas. Yeah, I was gonna say screw shooting. He sees his uh, his lawyer <laughs> being attacked. I object. Maybe this. killed. I object. He's gonna to run friend. up. All <laughs> he's right. gonna run up. Jaws open. Uh, <laughs> 23 to hit. Nice. <laughs> that oh hits. My God. Five points of piercing damage. Nice. Um, oh and uh, you know what? Second attack. Uh, so that was difficult terrain to get there. So that Oh, it is? All right. Then get two one. To get there. That's okay. Yeah, so he he ran just, through he run, yeah, he sprints up, <laughs> jaws out, latches onto his arm that's like oh, grabbing that's Barnaby. Oh, what I imagine is <laughs> it's like he's just running through this bush and then all of a sudden this this giant mouth comes leaping out of the, the bush and like clamps <laughs> on the, like on a the bugbear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He just latched on. <laughs> all right. Awesome. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, These all jaws right. have gotten out gotten me out of one uh thing or another so we're ready <laughs> all right uh that was blart nice 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 chomping uh venic these lawyers keep using these underbite techniques i mean underhanded techniques <laughs> yeah. okay. you hear uh you hear commotion in the in the in the brush there okay so i think i can i can I can head for the brush. I think I can get to here. Oh, what now? You have 25. I can get to here, I think. This is 31. You can get there, so you can, can get, get to, to him with two moves. Okay. Okay. Um, what the heck? Take the third uh, the third Kopesh attack. See what happens. It's not a third Kopesh attack. It's just your first attack. It's your, oh, it's so my first attack? You, did, you okay. only did, you only, it's not the number of actions you take. It's the number of times you attacked. Yep. You okay. only attack. You haven't talked any, so it's one attack okay. action. So roll your attack one number attack. one. Okay. A sixteen. That hits. Six. That nice. hits. Okay. Is he's uh, he's basically off guard because he's he's grappling someone. Okay. Or oh. ten points of damage. Max damage Yay. ten. Nice. Mm-hmm. You do ten. You can do ten points of damage with that. Yep. Crap. That's eight plus two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> uh, Barnaby. I, oh, where do you get the two plus two from? Oops. Because you is you, you have you have panache or something? Strength. Um, his, strength. Yeah. Does he? Uh, you have you have two in your strength. Cool. Yep. Nice. I thought you put it all on dex. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go. Uh, you dare? To, you dare to uh, attack me and grapple me? That this uh, this shirt was given to me by uh, by a, a uh, uh, somebody in town, and I really like them, whoever they are. All right, I'm going to attack them. Uh, well, you kind of have to escape first. Why? I was off guard. Hmm? Grab doesn't mean I can't attack. Grab just says I'm, uh, I'm off guard. Grapple. You can't uh, move. Yeah. Like your speed I just can't move. It's all awesome. Okay. Yeah. It's like D&D. And you can Grab, stand just be, and just I become rail. off guard and I might move. Immobilize. Immobilize. Yeah. Head do. him. Let me, let me double check before nope. we... That's right. Um, uh, That's basically yeah. all Muay Thai is, right? Yeah. Grapple. <laughs> You grab a creature. I just want to make sure what grab is, so I don't uh, grab. I want to see what it says. No, he, he attacked you, so. Yeah, I would say uh, grab. Uh, a creature is grabbed, uh, given their flat-footed and immobilized condition. You can't use any action with the move trait. That's okay. what it means. Okay, so that's all. I, I thought I read it right, but yeah, so... And uh, so anyway, uh, so being hey, he's grabbing my shoulder, I laugh because I have one hand free and I have another sword that's glowing a magical energy. I'm going to uh, just try to attack him. That's the first thing. And that hits. Ooh, I'm going to hit 23. Dang. Yep, yep. I hit him. Nice, nice. 
and I'm going to uh, do some damage here, and I get to add a plus 1d8 to my whatever I roll for damage here. Is and I rolled seven plus one for fire was eight plus or plus a uh, uh, d8. Is he dead? So seven more, so I did uh, s- uh, 15 points of total damage. Yeah, he had one hit point, so he was down. That's <laughs> that, right? no. I know, I, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't stop and, you. And I, as he slumps off of me, I look down at this thing, I look down at this thing, and I'll take my other two actions and literally stab him into his throat anyway. Okay. And, and then I, I look down, I look down, and I go, I go. That's what you get for attempting to have those white eyebrows. <laughs> she just calls out. Do, do, do you need help? Yes, I need help trimming these eyebrows. Did you did you capture him for information? Uh, Venic, why didn't you capture them for information? I know, it just didn't seem to be the right thing to do at the time. Well, it didn't be more critical to stay alive. <laughs> just we have but to. We may have. Venic, to, Venic didn't kill him. You did. <laughs> but Venic, but just doesn't know that. That's true. I'll call back to Jish. Most likely, Venic took took his uh, took actions into his own hand and took care of this creature. But I will praise Venic for his uh, great deeds. Lipe comes in. Well, thank and you. Says, I think. <laughs> and I look at Venic. I go. I go. Don't worry. We all know who the hero is. It's- doesn't matter. This this summoner of evil yeah, is probably blood. better oh used God, to us teeth. dead than alive. Let's just drag it out here and s- see what his deal is. Yeah, we're gonna drag. Good idea. Let's drag him out to the light. I just, I just drag him out into the light. Yeah. Uh, if Lord I can, will finish his chomp yeah. and eat what uh, he chomped off and be like, yeah, no, let's bring him out. <laughs> Ugh. Was that was that pleasant? Steak yeah, tartare. No, it was great. Honestly, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Steak tartare. It seems I a little. I have a lot to, to learn about goblins. All right. So you you pull him out of the brush. Yes. Um, he's a big, you know, humanoid uh, creature. Uh, probably, probably nearly as tall as Libe. Oh. Seems Ooh, like everybody in town is as tall as Libe is. Nearly. Not quite. Well, like he, but Libe is the height metric. Yeah. <laughs> One Libe that's, tall. That's the bar. Yeah. It's like we're in Iceland, like where everybody's tall and beautiful. That's kind of where yeah. he's from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like, but I think this, the, Absol- uh, Otari is like Iceland. Everybody's tall and beautiful except for me. So, yeah. No, Blart's a, <laughs> like one eighth of Libe. <laughs> That's true. The only thing I, the only thing I have going for me is my brows. Jisk is also <laughs> a massive lizard folk as well, but he's not beefy like that. All right. So, what do we see on this this uh, bugbear marauder? Um, he's wearing leather armor. <clears throat> um, he has a long sword and three javelins. Did you want some of those javelins, um, Libe? He, I know you had some before. I can take these. Yeah. Does he have any other? Uh, um, doesn't he have a note explaining his entire plan? No. <laughs> I, uh, doesn't. Does he have I'm, any? I'm going to say I've been playing Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate three recently, and I expect from my bad guys to have a, a, a note explaining their plan or a diary <laughs> explaining where yeah, they came from yeah. and where they hid their loot. It's probably with his loot. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I will frame. I will refrain from. Letting Mike know about my disappointment in him keeping up with a game that I'm playing. But um, in the meantime, anybody need a, that, that armor? I already uh, got it, it on. Is there a oh, way? Right. Is there a way for someone to track his movement for what he took? Is there, is there that we might be able to find out where he came from? I think that's survival. Uh, ooh, yeah. I mean, like. You can try yeah, tracking. Could I do that? Like, could I track his movements? I'm pretty good at tracking. Could Libe help by pointing out, you know, retracing where he was and said, well, he came up this way and attempted to attack me from behind over here. Yep. It's supposed to come from the north. You can certainly try. Yes. Okay, I could give a, I, I could give a survival or whatever you want. Yep, go ahead and give me a survival roll. Okay. All right. Come on. 
In order to help, would oh, I get yeah. a survival roll as yes. well? You got bad. a 10. Nice. Real bad. Only a 10. Yeah, you can't. You, yeah. For whatever reason, um, there are, if, if they came by the flume, um, that, that's a heavily trafficked area. Um, yeah. And you don't, yeah, you can't find uh, yeah. or discern which tag tracks are his from. He's wearing okay. boots, like, you know, big old hot mm-hmm. like boots. Like. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. standing here with uh, Venick and Levy. I'm like, I just, guys, this just, there's too many people are walking here all the time. I don't, I don't think there's any real way to find out where this guy came from. All right. Well, what well, we should do is we should re, we, sh- we should gather up uh, and uh, go talk to uh, that uh, Clort. Let him know what we found. We do have a we do have at least. It is the just, middle of the night. What's that? It is the middle of the night. Yeah, but we have a dead bodies just sitting here. Somebody has to be notified. I was gonna say we should probably take some like trophies to be like, hey, this is what's happening here. Just to like it, confirm it. Who is the authority? Does he have any kind of identification, or should we just take an ear or something? Yeah. The, <laughs> him the being head, a bugbear. Those are we. Do. I mean, he's a bugbear. He's, he's like an years. intelligent species. I mean, like, we, we can we can just cut his head off. <laughs> had, had, nobody in Otari has mentioned the uh, bugbear attacks recently, have they? Maybe we I just take anything. the corpse to the town and say, hey, we we fought this by the flume. There's someone in hellhounds. Yeah, I think we go ahead and we have Zish carry the three corpses back into town. What three corpses? The the two hellhounds. Well, the two hellhounds and the hellhounds. They become the hellhounds ash. Just kind of the hellhounds just disappear. Let me ask you a question. Why? Before we do this, I would like to do a some kind of a recall knowledge on what this, uh, what the what what type of uh, outfit or what type of uh, uh, what I can glean from where this a uh, bugbear might have come from. Okay. You know, I mean, I mean, clearly mm. he has had. He, he as you come as you move through life, you pick up things. And you swap out things, what kind of tells you where you've been and where you, you know, did he bit, bit pick up like a pen from a motel or something? Is he or, wearing any clothing? Did he, did he, did, does he have a Bible from a Motel 6 or like a new, or like, <laughs> like that? Yeah, yeah. He's a Bible or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He has a Bible. yeah I mean, I mean, hey. <laughs> The Book you of know, Mormon. He's got the Book of Mormon. Book of, hey, I whatever works as long as, as you know, I, I'm I'm open to whatever he wants a to pack you know. of cigarettes or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he's got some Newport Slims. You know. does, yeah, does he have like a receipt from a from a gas station? <laughs> a gas station. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to I'm going a to what, what I do I I'm going to give, just me a, a, give me a roll. What do you want me to roll? Um, society. Society. Okay. Not a great one for me, but I'm going to go and run it anyway. Who knows? I can I can crit fish for it. Right. I'm actually trained in society. Well, you can probably do it. Why don't I say? Why don't I try? Why don't I try to help you? It's rolling a twenty. Yeah, but he can. He has a chance of succeeding. At the that. last second, you're like Libe. You're a smart guy. You, yeah. You're you're around town. <laughs> I did not help you, have, so you have. But you didn't hinder him. <laughs> yeah, so you have an eighteen. That's and not I, bad. Yeah. Did not do great either. All right. You know that um, he's not dressed. I mean, you can give me an arcana check too. Uh, anyone. Let's ask anyone just, give me. just to do it. Yeah. I, that actually, ain't me. That's a good point, actually. He, he this, this creature might have been summoning hellhounds. Is there well, any I have a five in Arcana. What is magic? this now? Ooh, Ophie walks up. Oh, no, Ophie walks Oh, I forgot Ophie. Yeah. I forgot Ophie. Uh, uh, after picking up his gear. What, what are you going to say, Ophie? On the battlefield. What, what, are, what are you looking at here? Move aside. Is this creature a summoner? Some form of... It, it summons Ophie, the hellhounds. He pokes him around and he looks. Or he examines him to find out if he was the one in, in uh, responsible. You find for the you find nothing as far as what well, you would believe to be like 
a summoner's kit or any kind of like esoterica or or supplies. You see any kind of like magic supplies at all? Nothing. Uh, as far as a society mm. role, uh, bugbears are are commonly hired as as mercenaries, very very commonly. Um, you know, it seems he was some sort of hound master for the one responsible for their creation. Could he also have been summoned? I don't think so. He might have zapped away if that was the case. Ah, uh, good point. Well, it seems that we all we have are thugs and hoodlums and fire, fire uh, hounds here. No. And someone with money to hire mercenaries. Yes, good point. I wonder, maybe some of the uh, townsfolk would know something about a mercenary band. If money's involved, it probably goes all the way to the top. The hmm. top of the flume. Yes. That's yes. Right. There's only one way to, 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 to make sure this is okay. I'm going to go to the top of the flume and ride it down. <laughs> How damaged are you? What's that? I haven't <laughs> okay. Listen, he's just going to Camp Snoopy. It's I fine. need to make sure that we did that the flume is still in working condition for the town's sake. Okay. Actually, that's a good point. Yes. How's the flume well, doing? Well, why, why don't you let me do it? I, I'm better at this sort of thing. You know what, Venick? I believe that in this particular case, you are better in this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to ride the flume down all to a tari, it's a hundred foot drop, Mister Catfall. If you <laughs> fail, Venick drown. If, <laughs> if you fail, you will fail hard. <laughs> that, you're only second level. You don't have a lot to lose. What if we had barrels? <laughs> yeah, should we Niagara Falls? Yeah, could we get in the barrel? Slowly I turn, over? step by step, inch by inch. And then Venick's cousin Blenick walks around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, you got Wow, you look like just like that guy that just drowned over there. Yes, and Kenick and Denick are back there waiting. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Wenick and then Zenick. If, yeah, it it's depends on how you want to do it. A binder full of bards. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> so so we can drop maybe this guy out. isn't the ringleader. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've been dropped. I'm sure we've been out of combat for a while now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you can always Why would anyone have it in for the whole town of Otari? <laughs> it's just a bunch of weirdos in a bush poking a dead bugbear. What were you saying, <laughs> uh, Graham? Well, who would, do it? who would have it in for the whole town of Otari? Because if this, if this flume is destroyed... That's the life's blood of this town that's that's done. Somebody really has it in for for Otari. Yes, who would who would uh, profit from Otari going under? Well, going not having wood. Feels like we need to ask some people around town if they they know anyone that maybe the the town slighted. Mm. Uh, sure. I say we just stash this bugbear here and pull him out in the morning yes. and sh show him to the townsfolk and say, you can do does that. anyone recognize I mean, this? <laughs> does this belong to anyone? <laughs> I mean, we can just take, I mean, we can just like carry the body. Do we need to really store it? We can just throw it at the town center. It's not that big of a deal, right? <laughs> yeah. Just, we can do that. I'm sure nobody will have a problem with that. I mean, he's an en enemy of the town. All I'm saying is, is I don't think anybody's going to be like, oh, that poor bugbear. It would <laughs> definitely make a scene. What did you guys do to him? Yeah. no. See, Vedex with me. <laughs> that was Bill. Why did you kill Bill? <laughs> I think maybe we need to give them a little context first. <laughs> we could leave huh. a sign. All right. Enemy um, of the town. Enemy of the town is my enemy. <laughs> so where where do you go? Where do you want to go? It is the middle of the night, so it's, nothing's going to be open, really. Is there is uh, there an inn we can go to? I mean, clearly we have to rest then. Well, yeah. What about pretty far from our house? Well, how, do we know how, where Clark lives? What's the question? Do we know where Clark lives? 
Um, no. <laughs> we know where he works. Switch to the, the town map. What about the apothecary? Magaloy? Yeah. Or, yeah, it was Magaloy. Um, Magaloy lives in town in the Crooks. The uh, Crooks. I thought you said the Crips. I'm like, who lives in the Crips? No, he, 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 he's a big crook, apparently. <laughs> that, that's where the cast, thieves, cast, it, the thieves cast. live in a place called the Crooks. I mean... You know, it's like, <laughs> I've been getting a little more creative. I think it's the crow's cask. The crow's cask. And that's Magaloy. No, but we're, I'm not talking about Magaloy. I'm talking about the one we just, we went to his house. Abanye? Um, Abanye, right. Yeah, you're yeah. pretty far. That's, that's like northwest. You're... Uh, well, I have a few rations if you guys just want to camp for the night. <laughs> sure. uh, I don't mind. Uh, no, Maybe, I mean, it's fine. Uh, Maybe it would be worth just waiting to see if anything else comes. Sure, mm. we could do that. We can yeah, camp here out the rest of the night. That's fine. We oh. can camp here. Yeah, because if it's the middle of the night, it, it I guess it wouldn't make sense to carry this corpse back into the town. But I do think it would make sense. We bring at least like a a face that maybe somebody has seen into the town. I would rather just carry the whole bugbear than just its face. If we take, yeah. maybe we could take its face. <laughs> yeah. We could take its face there and we, can, we can wear his face to do crimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, what over face? our face, oh, must God. go against the tenets of good. Okay, well. <laughs> Something I mean, in that must go against it. Okay, well then we'll, 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 we'll backtrack on that, but I was just, it was just a, just a random thought. Seemed like a good idea. It's yeah. a random idea. Then. <laughs> Brainstorming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just scratched okay. it off the list. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Commit, commit heinous crimes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I do have a bedroll, so I'm good with, I just double checked. I'm good with just camping out here. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Same. All right. We're going to camp out. All right. It's right here. Camp a little bit away from the uh, dead. We got a light here. It's going to last true. until, you know, the whole night. Upwind from the dead bug barrier. Oh, there it is. 320 plus. So 440 experience points. Okay. So 440, but how many do we have already before? 600, right? 600. So, so we, we get a 1040. We got 1040. So we get to go up a level, guys. That's level three. We're level at level three. three. Whoop. Yeah. All right. So hey, should we start the, the you know what I think we need? That? I think we need is I think we need to have like a, like a little celebration music or something. Graham? Hi. <laughs> da, 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 da. Graham, you want to you want to cue us up? Some we'll we'll, we'll trigger some uh, some uh, level up music for us. Okay, hit it! Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice job. Woo-hoo. I don't know how he does that. I mean, I, it's just amazing. I, if I did Genius. it, I'd do it. If I had to do it, I'd do a bunch of editing and stuff. He just I don't know. It must be all that twenty years of acting experience. All right, it's well, level three. Let's uh, let's uh, take a moment here, and we're gonna level our characters up, and then we'll take a look at what we did. Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's take a break, guys, and we can level our characters up. All right. Uh, congrats on uh, another level. Nice. Level Ooh, three. We survived. Ever more Ooh. powerful. Uh, so let's uh, do a little brief uh, update on what you can do now. Let's start with Libe. So Libe uh, picked up the toughness general feat. Uh, so what he can do is not die. Um, <laughs> That combined with the the level up, I've got forty seven max HP now. Damn, um, it's yeah, he's he's a lot harder to knock down now. He's a beefy. Um, I also, uh, I guess, my devotion to Milani has attracted a spirit of uh, of good, and it lives inside my axe, and it allows me to hit ghosts with it. No, nice. wait, wait, you have a spirit inside your axe? No, I do. It uh, it just Pretty showed up. Cool. It might be a surprise to Libe, actually. Good. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it will allow me to um, strike at things that are intangible. Ooh, that's cool. I love that. Very good. Very good. I'm hoping uh, it doesn't talk at me in a snarky voice. <laughs> uh, Ophi. What can Ophi do now? Ophi, um, not a massive level for him. A couple new cantrips that, uh, that he might show off later. Um, he gets 
uh, dark vision on this level. Um, nice. he, it's a new signature spell that he can heighten and lower at will. Excellent. Uh, Blart, what can Blart slash Gumbug do now? Uh, so he gained uh, the, the this stubborn ability. So I have a little bonus to will saves and also can re-roll uh, will saves against being controlled because he you can't tell him what to do. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then uh, for my general feat, I took um, Ancestral Paragon and I took Fang Sharpener because I found that Blart likes biting things. So biting, <laughs> making my bite attack more powerful just seemed like the right choice. Is there any way so, we can get striking ruin for his, pe- for his teeth? Yeah, I know, right? Right. Like can we grill? make my teeth magical? <laughs> That'd be fantastic. He has like, he has like arcane bracer, braces on. So he's got to get <laughs> yeah. the runes. Hey, you already sharpened them down. Why not? Plus one Yeah, exactly. Uh, and other than that, he also just got uh, a good bit better at lying. My deception is now up to plus 10. Oh, great. Great. Very good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Uh, then it- well, I've uh, kicked up my stealth, so I have a plus eight to my stealth now. And uh, I get a oh. few nifty little feats. I've got, uh, I now have, um, I've, I've taken the, the steady balance. You inspired me, Mike. Oh, <laughs> it's handy. It's yep. a handy mm-hmm. one. You'll look yep. even cooler. Yep. And, uh, you know, with my, uh, with my high acrobatics check, it's even handier. And uh, I also took Swift Crawl for my general feat. And that means I can crawl up to half my speed. So rather than five feet, I, I can do half my speed. And uh, I took Opportune Repost as well. So that means that a foe, if he critically fails while attacking me, if he's within melee range, I can take a melee attack at him or cool. try to disarm him. So. Okay. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, Barnaby, why don't you round us out? Sure. Uh, well, I, I no longer need to have that that uh, sorcerer spell in order to, for me to move because I now took the general feet fleet. So mm. uh, so now I have fleet, so I can have, move five feet faster. So I'm moving at thirty. <laughs> Take that. And uh, as a part of my uh, class, I'm actually going to swap out that spell then. And instead, I'm taking Forbidding Ward, so I can use it to give plus, somebody else a plus one to their armor class. It's a two action spell. And then uh, I also uh, I kicked up my intimidation to um, expert. So I have an expert intimidation. I have a plus 10. So Barnaby's eyebrows grew even more. Yes. <laughs> they're they're now mighty monarch length. After defeating that, that white browed bugbear, I've been inspired. Did, did you do uh, what are the like extensions? Did you cut them off and do extensions? No, I don't need to do extensions. Now you My, have two tone, two tone. No, no I, I don't. All natchy. I no, 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 I don't do that. I, I'm just simply just better with my own natural beauty. Excellent. Morning, we got I, some eyebrow wax. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, uh, what were they he's called a dapper that? dan man. Dapper dan man. Yeah, I'm a dapper he's dan man. Dapper dan man. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right. they, what do they call that blading thing? What is that? I don't know. I know what you're talking about. I think, but no, I don't do that. I'm just. A, I'm doing what what uh, he said was. Uh, I'm a dapper Dan man. I got them like they're beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, I temporarily gave Jishk assurance in medicine. He's got second level spells now, so he's got a couple things going on. Uh, he can he can just auto uh, auto save. Uh, auto heal uh, in in battle, so he doesn't have to like worry about killing you. Okay, if when you're down, so um, but Nate may change that. But okay, uh, assurance is very strong. Assurance is very strong, um, and he also has. In Tim, or, uh, I gave him um, the incredible initiative, so he can move faster. Oh, or you know, act sooner, get that bless up and anything else. So that's temporarily just I don't know. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's continue. You've uh, you've spent the night uh, by the flume. You wake up. 
you feel better, stronger, faster, more beautiful eyebrows, the whole nine yards. <laughs> uh, Burnaby's so, been up for hours <laughs> yeah. the, working it. Easy. So is your next implement going to be the mirror? Yeah, I think it might be. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that, that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it does. All right. Yes, I'm fighting now. Oh, but the mirror is so fucking powerful. Um, it's funny. It's funny. You get to make duplicates of yourself. Yeah, it's amazing. And more than one Barnaby. One, just one oh, Barnaby man. is not enough. If, if we ever is. get... We, they, these characters probably won't go that high, but that's okay. We'll see. We said that about the first game, so... That's true, too. All right. So you're, you buy the flume. Uh, now that it's light out and, and you know, um, everything, you're, like, looking around to see what's, what's going on. Um, um, How's the flume doing? looking structure-wise? That uh, Hellhound was doing a number on it. Um, and there's some damage point. to it. It's going to... Someone's going to have to repair it uh, unless someone took mending. Let's go talk to Clort. And let yeah. him know. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, you drag the body of the the No, well, with we'll you. ask Clort to come out because that 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 body's heavy. There's That's... six of you. Well, there's. I five, was going to say there's can't... five of us, and and really one of them's a goblin. I mean, I mean, Libe, you look pretty strong. Can you can you can you drag this body? You maybe fireman carry it. I, don't I know. suppose I will try. Yeah, I pick it up and try to hoist him over my shoulder. He's heavy, but you know, you're, you're, you're a big beefy boy. So you, you, you manage it. Um, I firm and carry him. So you make your way, uh, basically down the flume. <laughs> you throw the body into the flume. And <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Fails a saving is like the body's launched out. Gross. Meanwhile, some poor, some poor couples like having a picnic at the uh, bottom. <laughs> Anyway, uh, you get to the, the the main compound of the the uh, where the wheel is. Uh, super loud is this thing's it's creaking and, and water sloshing and everything. Uh, and you, Clark, uh, Clark comes up. He sees you come and he comes up. Hey, what's what's uh, hmm, some you got something there? Yes, we have a this? body of a of a hob, of a uh, what was it? Hob, bugbear, right? Bugbear. Body of a bugbear. Okay. This bugbear was directing flaming hellhounds, evil creatures, to destroy your flume. And I toss him into the dirt uh, in front of Clort. Um, huh. well, he was uh, sneaking around as the hellhounds tried to bite and chew their way through. I think he was leading them. Well, good, good job. Good job. Uh, thank you for doing that. Hmm. I have a question, Clort. Yeah. In your days in, when you were fighting in the ring there, is there anyone who might have been supremely angry that you had left the ring or anyone that had bet against you that may have had a real vendetta against you? I mean, maybe, but nobody I know. I mean, I usually kill the people I have problems with. And that's why we like you. <laughs> There are many of I mean, them we, left behind. I mean, we we fought uh, that is one a hellhound somewhere else. It does. I mean, I I don't know if like Clord is like the main guy. You know, that could uh, have been just collateral damage. <laughs> I don't. I, Clord, I'm sure you're a big guy. I'm just. I'm not sure you're like the guy. You know. Uh, oh, I'm, uh, I ain't the guy. Yeah, uh, but also. Uh, we, this guy seems, this guy and uh, these hellhounds uh, seem to be burning down uh, the uh, the flume. Uh, <clears throat> can't say this is going to be the last of them. You know? From what we can guess, uh, this bugbear here wasn't the summoning type, wasn't maybe a magical user. Um, what? We're thinking he was probably just a mercenary. Um, is there anything, is there any, are there any powers that would want to harm Otari that might pay, be able to pay for mercenaries? Well. Does Otari have any? 
if they're targeting the flume, they're targeting the lumber. Yeah, I mean, that, well. yeah that make, that's obvious. Well, there's a number of... of who, would, who would stop that, though? No, there's, Another lumber company? There are three main oh. lumber companies. And do they all use different plumes? It's a free market? Well, they're all over Cortos, the Isle of Cortos. They're all over the inner sea, actually. Uh, they're big. It's big business. There's always, there's always some town burning down or some creature mashing walls and shit. Uh, wood's big business. So, yeah. I, mean, I can send word to the mayor. Maybe I mean, we should talk. Give, maybe we should talk to the mayor to ourselves. Us. Yes. Well, I'll let him know and he'll contact you. Yes. Well, or you could, you could just let us know right now. What, what you're thinking. Well, he's going to have more information. I think he's trying to say that we should go talk to the mayor. <laughs> we have, we have a uh, security person, a person in charge of security by the name of one scumbug who should be talking to the mayor to find out why these creatures are attacking. All right. That's me. Scumbug, you've been delegated as questioner of the mayor. Do um thank you. Do you want to hang on to this guy, Clort? Maybe somebody recognizes him as you're trying to figure out who's doing this. Ah, uh, I'll take him to the captain, the guards. He'll have more information. Yes, we will return well, we might. tomorrow to see what we, what he, what you've learned from the captain. All right. Hey, yeah, no, uh, Clark, how, how informed is this captain of the guards? You know, does he get news from around? So he's pretty well informed? Yeah, he, he's in charge of security or protecting the whole town. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah, no, I mean, if he gets any news, so, send him to Ophi. Points to Ophi, if, send him to him. Ophi does intimidating glare. <sighs> yeah. Send him him. Not me. You, He's kind of like my deputy. You can try to intimidate Plur? Yes, do it. Roll. Come on. Right from the roll. back. Come on, roll it. Intimidation. Oh, 22. Yeah, <laughs> no, not even. Fine. Oh, wow. It, it was like, huh. You want to go Listen. a couple rounds? Hey, it's pretty tough. I've seen him in battle. Are you a fisticuffs man? Oh, yeah. Hmm. You're free to pick a fight with whoever you want, but are, is this really what we should be doing right now? Maybe He's picking time. a fight with me. What are you talking about? I, I think okay. we should talk to the mayor. I, I will not interfere. on his side, aren't we? <laughs> Listen, this, this, just, this just happened. You know, we're gonna we're gonna go talk to the mayor now. Excuse <laughs> us, but like I said, you hear if if the lawman in this town hears anything, not me. Talk to Ophi. Don't send him to me. Don't even mention me. What is that? Do you travel much? Hmm. I'm gonna send. It doesn't matter. Do I travel much? Not anymore. Yeah. Okay. You haven't left the island in a while? Nah. Okay. I, fought, I fought in Otari. Or I fought in uh, Absalom. And have you ever summoned any hellhounds to attack your flume? You, have, you were a long uh, time ago at the no. arenas. What's well, that? Oh, you... It's... Nothing. All right. <laughs> We're all giving this guy the eye. We're like, <laughs> it's all right. No suspicious Never mind. Uh, they're just employees, and they they uh they don't represent the uh, Barnaby Dash. <laughs> you have all yourself right. a good day, sir. And uh, by the way, uh, we did this other second job for you. Uh, what reward do we do we gain? He gives over. Uh, let's go look it up right now. Nice. Um, I have 40 gold right now, but I'm waiting, hoping we get. 
Mez, he uh, he goes back to uh, his office or whatever. Uh-huh. And comes out. <clears throat> he has a, a striking hatchet. Plus one striking oh. hatchet. Ah, uh, yes. And as promised. Okay, um, we're gonna pulls it out. That is I'll take I'll hatch. take the plus one striking hatchet. Here's what we're going to do. <coughs> we are going to uh, take that pl- now. Uh, Libe, your weapon is currently not a plus one, right? No, it's not. My dog is squeaking. The, 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 <laughs> I was the hearing. That. I'm like, what are you doing, dog? Okay, so no, Libe, uh, you don't have a plus one weapon, right? Or a, or a no, it's a strike. it's a plain old weapon right now. We definitely are getting him a plus one striking weapon. You want to transfer the rune? Yeah, we are. We are. Um, uh, I suppose it, that would it, work. It'll be because the sixty-five gold, gold cost, right? Sixty-five gold for the for the striking and thirty-five gold for the potency. So for the potency, so it's so it's a uh, hundred gold. Is that right? Hmm. Sixty. Yeah. So we need ten it's, gold pieces to transfer them both. It's it's a uh, it's easily worth. Worth that fight. All right. Uh, I will. So, well, I'll pay for the 10 gold to get that weapon to get you a plus one striking. What do you want? A great axe? It, it's, it's, yeah, the very, it's the, like an executioner's axe he's got. All right. Consider it done. Nope. Maybe that's Can when the change? spirit enhance, uh, enchants her. It's a, inhabits yeah. maybe. It's pretty you substantial upgrade. It great. <laughs> Yeah, that is. So now, now you do now you do double the dice damage when you hit, and you have plus one to hit. Whoa! I can also put this into my um, keepsake right, for my mind weapon. Upgrade. It so back. is that a is it striking and the plus one striking? Man. So it's a it's a plus one potency rune, and then. So it's two separate rooms, right? Yeah. You get the striking and then the, the potency. Yeah. Um, in order to in order to have another, I, you can have another effect on it, right? So you could have yeah. like flaming or, I mean, ghost touch is a is a rune, but you get that through your yeah. thing. But yeah, you can add more to it, but you can never have more than your your than your potency rune. But I don't think striking counts. No, it doesn't. Right. So you can have but striking I mean, and one other one on yep. a plus one. Yep. Yeah. You got it. So yeah, you can get some wicked fucking cool uh, combinations of, of different things. All right. So you got that. I'll let you take care of it. Uh, so yeah. you have new, you know, a plus one striking. We have 30 gold remaining. Um, I'm going to take four gold of that out of, out of my chest. Uh, 20 brings us down to six, 26 gold pieces and, and give myself magic weapon again. Re, re, restore the. Restore I already. The I actually have two of those scrolls, but I want to have them just in case we get in a real bad fight. I can give two people it at one time. Um, hopefully, eventually, I, I get. I can cast that too. Just uh, thanks, Josh. All right, so I'm going to do that and and restore that item. All right. So um, this thing's really going to do. This thing's really going to do two d twelve. Yep. Okay. That's why you get it. Because you're the pretty freaking strong. You're gonna be one hitting things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's big. Sam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course everything else gets tougher too. So Yeah. Ah, uh, the axe. <laughs> this axe will bring us freedom. And remember freedom. where your loyalties because that's I purchased this that for you. Remember where your lords loyalties lie. Mm-hmm. Yes, right. so I think we we head to, to the, the mayor. Breaking of chains. <laughs> what did you say? The breaking of chains. The breaking of what chains? Uh, we, you, the, the, if, if Any those, and all. Yes, that like, is my mandate. Like the <laughs> like the chains that tie Notar that bind Notari to some other delivery company, so <laughs> they can so they can in fact become part of Barnaby. <laughs> These these sound like chains of the mind, nothing else. Yes, yeah. We don't. We, or perhaps people who are tied down to the burdens of another lawyer and need a new lawyer instead. Uh, you will free them, and then they can come and be. I can take them <laughs> under my wing. I think you m- misunderstand. I don't think I do. 
Yeah, no, I, I, I think he understands perfectly. I, I, don't know, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Law doesn't bind a truly free person. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, you, you, you tell my brother Sal, who's doing six to eight up in Rikers. <laughs> okay, so I, we we meander <laughs> to the lawyer, the the mayor's place. Yeah, we're going to the mayor's. We're, we're just bickering as we're going. Yeah, this is like this is like every video game where you have like the two characters, yeah. <laughs> characters randomly uh, talking to each other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just the <clears throat> this is the chatter, like yeah, the yeah. Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah. Baldur's Gate Two was the best. Baldur's Gate Three is good, but Baldur's Gate Two's chatter between the NPCs was phenomenal. All right, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> so you make your way uh, down down to the town proper, uh, and you make your way to the the mayor's office, and uh, you are you are greeted by uh, a functionary. Well, I am asking uh, uh, Scumbug to walk mm -hmm. in. I'll be standing next to him, but Scumbug's going to be taking over security, and he's going to have a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, are, are they at a? Are they, are they just standing there? Or are they at a desk? Um, yeah, he's the gentleman is at a desk, right? And um, from below, where he can actually see, he's like, "Excuse me, sir." He's like looking around. And then looks down. Oh, well, uh, hello. Yes, thank you. I am uh, representing uh, my uh, my employer here, Barnaby. We have uh, conducted yes. business uh, for this town, and we are looking to talk to the mayor. <clears throat> you that you you're from that group that. Uh, Took over the fishery, is that correct? From Tamale? Yes. Well, I think Lord uh, Bonham, I think a, a Eskiger Esquire. <laughs> yes, exactly. We're a little bit more than that group. Uh, but yes, that is us. Well, well very good. Very good. Um, and you have an update? Yes, yes. We have, we have uh, I am both the Silkbane and the Dragon Slayer of Otari. Well, that's your update. Okay, thanks. Come again. Excuse me. Never no, mind. No, that is man. not. Listen. There's, click, there's a, click on the question mark again. <laughs> there's an evil attack on this city. Leave it. Right. I got this. I got this. Sir. Don't mind, Barnaby. We do have an update. Well, trust me. He's just giving not you not identifying uh, addresses. But I will not discuss what we have to know with you. It's only the mayor. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can schedule you in. Uh, no. Hey, Barnaby, just Come walk back. in. Does Let's that, go. Does this frequently work for you, scumbug? It works every time. And I, <laughs> I'm saying let's all walk in immediately. I don't care what the, the representative has to say. I'm, we're just walking in. No, I, 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 he follows, Ophi follows him. Normally, yeah. I would think this is a keep, bad idea, but keep, seeing how my head of security has advised me, so uh, I'll have to take uh, it under consideration and uh, walk in. This is important. We walk in. The but, tenants sir, say we need what, to deal with What are you doing? Now. Stop. Wait, wait. Did you want us do to we stop? have the... Do Call we have the guards. The, up there? <laughs> the, uh, no, I don't know if we do have the bugbear. Does it matter? Oh, no. I left it with court. He was going to bring it to the... They, uh, I mean, they sent us on a mission. I'm just saying we walk in. Well, Clark was supposed to talk to the mayor about us showing up. I guess we didn't have an uh, appointment yet. <laughs> we don't need an appointment. We don't need an no, appointment. No, We're need walking an appointment. in. We're PC. Right. You don't see an N in front of our PC, do you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we are you, walking you, in. You, you'll, this, so this... Well, he's much bigger than you, but this, this functionary stands up and says, no, you can't stop. What are you doing? Who do you think you are? I, I step to him and say, in the name of Milani, the goddess of freedom, I'm a champion of good, and this city is under attack by the forces of evil. 
That's what and she if your mayor doesn't need want to hear that, then he doesn't want to hear it, but he needs to know. That's I walk fine. under You're both of their appointment. legs and walk, <laughs> walk through the door. The, the flume, were it not for us, the flume would be destroyed last night. You will let us pass. Okay. So, I, I'm going to let you pass? Excuse me? You may... Or you may not. Either way, we are passing. Yeah, we're running um, to get the guards. We're running to get the guards. Uh, Blart yeah. is going to turn to the guy and be like, I'm sorry, do you want the town to die? Uh, I guess stopping us will help that happen. And he's going to make a deception check to be like, let us through. All right. All right. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, that nice. is a 27. I'm, I'm sure you are, you are very powerful. Uh, I'm sure you are very knowledgeable and I'm sure you have lots of information, but it's, he's not here. Well, then where is he? <laughs> I don't know. He'll come when he comes. He's the mayor. That's what she said. You don't, you, okay. I'm sorry, uh, Barnaby, excuse me. I'm head of security. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> you are. Are, I'm sorry, are you the head of security for the mayor? I what? am. <laughs> I don't think they have that kind of title here. Libe. Uh. <laughs> He's taking his job seriously, quiet. Why don't you go to the captain of the guards? Because it's uh, the actual. I'm not talking to the captain of the guards. I'm talking to you. Do you know where the mayor is? I just told you I don't. Is Why are you so bad at your job? Uh, I am going to be very today? good at my job. I will Clearly write you in not. as an appointment. I set Clearly up appointments. You're not. I, 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 I file paperwork. I am very good at my job. You make, Apparently, you, make you are not very good at You yours. make appointments for the mayor, but you have no idea where the mayor is, and you have no idea where he's possibly going to be. That's you can see how to- we are growing more and more skeptical. And that when, is when not is my his next appointment? job to know. No, that's a good point. That's a good point, Venick. When's his next appointment? When's his next appointment? With you? No, with then anyone. It's going, it's going yeah, literally further anyone. and further back. I guarantee Where, when it. When is he coming in today? <clears throat> I'm not telling you that. When's the last time you've <clears throat> seen this man? Well, then, why don't we just wait here until he comes in? Please do, because the guards will be here shortly. Okay, okay well, I'll tell you what. Like I'll tell you what. Bad idea. We, we've got that bugbear, right? No, you don't. No. We don't. Okay. No, we don't. No. Well, that, that brings just, that idea. Listen, I'm just wondering, when is the last time you've even seen the mayor? What? Scumbug, is this achieving anything? I'm asking them. This person is the head of his uh, schedule. When's the last time you've even seen this guy? Yesterday. So he's not in today at all. So it's like first thing in the morning. When does you, he get in? <laughs> he comes in when he comes in. I don't, I don't tell him what to do. I write his schedule. He looks at it. You are not anywhere on this schedule. So he is not expecting to see you at all. Okay. Seems okay, like well, a terrible we, mayor. <laughs> let's just go wait outside then. We're going to be captured and arrested. Not necessarily. We haven't done anything. Really. No, exactly. We haven't done anything. Uh, you threatened me. You are going to walk past me and break into the thing. That is against the law. Well, Some champion you are. <laughs> We didn't. Technically, we haven't done anything. anything. Yeah, technically, we haven't done anything wrong. <clears throat> then you can turn around and leave. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go wait outside. Uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna wait for everyone to leave, and then I'm gonna go to the security person here, and I go, "Let me. If you would like to pursue legal action against any of these three, I'd like to give you my card." <laughs> Please do, because you are their employer. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. Actually, Barnaby Dash is a company that that's a, that's an LLC. 
So I am not liable for the actions of the LLC. That there is from the legal practice, which I can then sue myself on, on behalf of you. Oh, trust me, you will be hearing from lawyers. That's right. I'm glad we've got that, that, that taken care of. We're sitting as a guys. All oh, yeah. I'm saying is this town is run like shit. They oh, don't, yeah. Apparently, their lawyer doesn't run on any schedule, and their actual like itinerary means nothing. All right, I'm gonna walk back out. And I'm gonna like, well, the experiment of having blur of having scumbug run our security is uh, failed. All right, well, let's go lay low at uh, Clark's hey, for a while. All I'm saying is. Under normal circumstances, in a normal town, maybe the lawyer would be there, or the mayor would be there at the beginning oh, of the day. Why is the sun in the sky right now? <laughs> like, it's, uh, think seven in the morning. Mm. Oh, well, I mean, like if, I, if I knew that, I wouldn't do that. I told you it was the first thing in the morning. Day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the lawyer, the mayor would probably be doing something at the beginning yeah, of the God. day. That's all right. Well, do you know a, a, a civic functionary that starts before nine o'clock? Not a <laughs> single one. That's all right. Yeah, well, you well, know why the, the office buildings there have a yellow line going down the middle of the hallway. <laughs> and that's so that people leaving early don't bump into the people coming in late. <laughs> <clears throat> so as you, as you, uh, as you exit the thing and you're arguing and, uh, Disparaging the <laughs> feeling we're about to be arrested. I would rather not. That's all right. Don't worry about it. So I guess we wait two hours and then the exact same interaction happens. And now we're <laughs> with the mayor. Uh, <clears throat> we'll scum. We'll scum. Save it. We'll just go we'll back. Scum save it. Yeah. We'll yeah. Two, two hours and load of previously saved game. So you can just just camp out on the on the. Uh, no, I, I think he's, I, I, I think if, the if, if I think Libe would like to just leave town to the north. <laughs> Libe I don't think you. this has. Fa- I don't think this has gone very well. They are likely going to, to attempt to imprison us. Uh, I would rather just attempt to track the hellhounds on my own. If I'm if I'm if it's between that or become. Uh, enslaved once again. Uh, I, I'll I'll leave. Why don't you? If you want to head I'll, back to the fishery, the one of the the four of you head back to the fishery, and I'll stick around to uh, <clears throat> deal. And we're going to Clorts. Well, my uh, my tenants would have me not uh, abandon an innocent, but I'm not sure they really consider you an innocent. I'm not sure if that is the case. It's become very gray all of a sudden. I didn't do anything. <laughs> what do you what are you gonna after me for? All I did was ask Scumbug to talk to the mayor, and now we're all wanted. <laughs> yeah, that I mean it makes no sense that we're wanted. Oh well. That's These awesome. things happen when you try well, to place we these. We can't kind go back to Absalom, we can't stay here. <laughs> I don't see any posters of us yet. We're fine. As, we, yeah. as I turn around and I see posters of us. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, they're just like, it's, oh, oh they so were fast. rude to a guy. They never get up. They never get my nose right. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> it's the Harry Potter posters where they yeah, they change. All right. Um, well, I'll I'll wait for Perhaps the mayor it's... to arrive. While I don't know what you guys are gonna do, I'm waiting for the mayor to arrive. Yeah, right. I mean, it it makes no sense. You're like, like, yeah, I'm waiting for the mayor. All right. Wasn't there <clears> a guy <throat> running for the guards? I feel like they'll be here before he is. That's all right. So as you're camped out on the front steps, um, you see Clort coming down the road. Right. He's carrying the bugbear. Okay. Okay. And he he's looking at you guys, just catching some morning rays or whatever. Yep. And what are you doing here? We went to talk to the mayor's guy. I don't think he likes us. I told you I would tell him. You did not specify a time. I did not. But I will let the mayor know 
of the threat to the flume and the logging business in Otari, because that is my job. And well, I, I will reach out to you when I know something. That's how this works. You might have specified that. I just I I feel really you dumb. I but- would get back to you. By the way, uh, the uh, guard in there may have a one of my business cards. Uh, you can ask him to uh, rip it up. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> so I tell you, do you think you're the first group of uh, hopped up adventurers that comes through town that thinks they can just storm into the mayor's office? Yeah, yeah I think that's who we are. Yes. But, that we yeah, are. Exactly I promise you, you are not many the first, others. Apparently. I, I looked around. <laughs> Uh, do I see any other adventuring groups storming into not the adventures? At the, not yeah. at the moment. I look around, I'm like, I'm not, does the not other today. adventure path, we're, we're, we're path the party for the other adventure path is going up the road the other yeah, way. I, I don't see you killing any hellhounds, honestly, or anyone else. Yeah, Mickey. That's not my job. Mickey's group went to the abomination phones. He won't be back for a while. <laughs> I, uh, well, what's life if you can't go and kick the door open in City Hall and demand to see the mayor sometime? Yes. Yeah, go downtown Minneapolis and kick in the mayor's <laughs> door and see what happens to you. I, was like, I know of a uh, terrorist threat. Okay, <laughs> FBI will lock you up. <laughs> Good way to get a weekend Maybe. off. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> so go back to wherever and I will explain the severity of the issue to the mayor. He's not going to take your word from Adam. Nobody knows you yet. Who Adam is? Ah, uh, well, Tamily will know who I was. Yep. Yes. That's how I know who you are. Yes. And I don't know who Adam is and whoever he is. Let, him know, let us know that we are, in fact, a better delivery service than Adam Delivery. And most likely a better lawyer for him than Adam Lawyer. I don't know who he is. And is, if Adam is indeed a monster hunter, I say, has he slain any dragons here? <laughs> Venic shoulders his gear and says, okay, I think we're done here and starts walking down the road. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know who this Adam is, but whoever it is, we should find him and put a stop to his, him uh, trying to take over our business. I don't think he's attempting to take your business. We should you just coming? return to the fishery. All right. <laughs> As we're walking away, Scumbug's like, I don't know what's happening in this town, but in Absalom, the mayor was in ta- in." office at beginning of day i mean i i wouldn't know personally but it makes sense that a lot the mayor would be there but and he's just, he's just really mad just about human. it well as far as i'm concerned the mayor of absalom can go into his office and stay there <laughs> yeah but at least he was in his office Jeez. we need not return there so you're heading back to your this i just wanted to let the record uh, this quest is doomed so. <laughs> we all kill ourselves. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, we certainly yeah. made uh, made friends with the administration today. <laughs> You're supposed to make make friends with the functionaries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The administrators are rarely our friends. It makes no sense the mayor wasn't there. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh. Well. So was there any question why how why Barnaby had been the spokesperson up till now? <laughs> <laughs> so you head back to the fishery? Apparently so, yes. All right. So uh, you get back to the fishery. All right. And uh, you are met at the door. Is there more spiders in the fishery that it does like restocked? Like, ah oh, crap. <clears throat> No, well, he's just like dead. <laughs> There's more spiders. No, don't say that. I feel bad now. How's Ollie? Yeah. Good. Ollie's good. Got and him. actually, she's she's hovering by the front door. <gasps> oh, good. Lovely. Um, well, as I approach, I'll be like, Ollie, I have a a. Uh, oh, I want I want to bring back that that that. I remember I ordered the uh, fish for the one gold. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna get that one gold on the way back because I forgot about that, but I did actually pay for it already. So you got, you bring in the, the barrel? The barrel of fish, yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> yeah. I'll be like, Ali, we have a barrel of fish for you. Oh, a whole <laughs> barrel of fresh fish? Yes. This comes from Tamalee's place in town. 
They're not fresh. What's that? They're, they're like pickled. <laughs> Go there? Yeah. Right. Salted, pickled for transport. Sure. Sure, Ollie well, still likes it. But for me, they're fresh. I don't know. I'm, I'm like, here you go. They don't. And, and she's like, ah. Oh. And she comes over and, you know, she looks looks down into the, 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 the barrel of salted and pickled fish. And, and she's like, thank you. Yeah, oh. well. Oh, I'm glad what we got that uh, taken care of. Now, uh, Ollie, uh, looks like you had something you added to say since uh, you were staying at the door. We're waiting for us. Yes, you have visitors. Oh, uh, are they looking for a legal practice? Are they looking I don't for... know. Okay, very well. Are they? Uh, why don't you armed? show me where they're at? Are they uh, the constabulary? Lart draws his gun, know. but it's behind his back. All right. Ophi pulls a spear out of his forehead. All right. So from inside the the house, uh, two creatures and two people, two uh, monsters. Well. Maybe. Um, one is a massive, uh, like, he has scales on his, on his body that look like armor. Okay. Uh, is he a human? No. He is a Nagaji. I don't even know what that is. Why don't you, why don't you make a recall knowledge check? I'm going to do make a recall knowledge right now. However, Libe does know him. Oh, uh, I'm an eleven, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you no idea what this creature is. Uh, it it looks very uh, serpent-like. Ooh, and then uh, slithering behind him, he is a humanoid. He has legs. He's he's but he's very big. Uh, another massive dude, but another creature comes slithering. Uh, the top of her body, she's very attractive, uh, is human, human, Uh-oh. more or less human. The bottom is a snake. Uh, and she comes out. And <clears throat> the uh, Libe, you recognize them, or you recognize the, the male. You don't know who the female is. But the male is, uh, he is a... Gladiator from your time in your area. Does oh. he have a name? Uh, <laughs> well, Libe would know it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But what does Libe think his name is? Uh, well, he knows him as the Crusher. Um, Libe will say, The Crusher, how did you find me here? Is it Wesley or Doctor? I get out my axe. <clears throat> or the... Well... You will not take me alive. No. Why would we take you alive? Why else would you why be would, here? Why would we take you in? <laughs> well, you are the perfect diversion. Diversion? Yes, diversion. D- uh, diversion for what? I'm on the run. I'm not. How did you? The 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 female uh, slithers over. How did you escape again? By a miracle. There, there is uh-huh. nothing. No other explanation. Oh, there is. There is, my dear boy. There is. So, what exactly happened? I was spared, spared the axe. They, 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 my, these, these people here do not need to hear this. No, we do. Keep going. No, but we'd like to. (laughs) As the mic. Are you here to kill me or are you not? I'm sorry, what? Are you here to kill me, Crusher, or, or are you not? No, you owe us. Well, we'll it's see about to come together that. Here. Okay, I, I was sure. I'll tell you how I came to be here. I was. They were going to kill me for insurrection, and oh, yes, they, we know. The a, a miracle stayed the axe blade. I was 
was I was not supposed to survive that, but I did, and I ran. So and only by her grace did I did I make it through. So or th by their tweaking the circumstances that made it possible for you to escape. So the your execution you suggesting was, was uh, held in place. His his acts just stopped. I that correct? know not by what I know not by what by what force, but I. I know it in my heart. It was Milani, and that was the, the, the moment she gave me my purpose. Oh, dear boy. You, do you delude yourself so well. What? Uh, what? But you played your part admirably, and the uproar that you caused allowed us to escape. But, no, I, I escaped on my own. Uh, she waves her hand. Go ahead and make a uh, uh, fortitude save. A fortitude save? Mm-hmm. No! No! What did you, you get? You rolled a hero one? Point. <laughs> you, hero point. you are, you are held. You yeah, are that, that's held. a hero point. That's a hero right. point. I, uh, I use my focus point for unimpeded stride. Nothing can hold me in place. I immediately escape from every magical effect that has me immobilized or grabbed. You then stride. I stride directly up to the snake woman. Uh, the, the, the big one steps in front. I don't recommend it. You Wait. dare! You dare hold me like that! Just like I did the, just like I did the executioner for you. Uh, uh, no, that, that, that wasn't her plan. Whatever it takes for you to get through the day, whatever it takes for you to rationalize, that's fine. But no, the, we, will, uh, we will be back when we need something from you because you owe us for your escape. What? I, I, I am bound by no contract. I am bound by no law. Who are you to demand from me? Uh, the people that allowed your escape. You think you think you got out that door, that locked door that wasn't locked? The, you think that was no, a miracle the, as well? These shackles are a reminder. I think about it every day. That escape was a miracle. You, you can't sway me on this. I I, I know it. That is fine. You you think what you want to think, but we will we will be in touch. Pardon me. Um, if you'd like to sue Lee Bay for the fact of not compliance to a, to a contract, I, I'd like to give you my card. Oh, silence! I, I hold my tongue because it's my duty, but it is very difficult to carry out my tenets with you. Then it sits especially down. with these liars showing up out of the blue. If you'd like, ah. to, uh, Lee Bay, if you'd like to perhaps sue these people for. For a wrongful representation of, of a facts, uh, I just keep my card. Uh, uh, to, to leave the card on the table. I go storming out. I don't. Uh. Venix sits down, puts his feet up, crosses his legs, and said, "I knew it was too easy." I look at those. Are those two still here? No, they st they go. They go to leave. They just said, "We'll be back." All right. I go the other direction. Well, right. they're leaving the the fishery basically. That, yeah. Fine. Careful there. There may be a uh, four-legged lizard-like creature trying to eat you and kill you out there. Don't worry about that. I relish it. He's a friend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can put relish on it or... Oh, know, I will. Mustard, perhaps, something. But anything. Okay. Well, Libe uh, apparently has uh, some kind of a uh, debt, life debt he has to pay. Um, so the crusher was... Uh, he was the main attraction. For so him. definitely like champion material. Yeah. Like, very, okay. Like the Hellhounds would have, he not had a problem. You've seen him fight uh, much bigger things than that. He is very yeah, so, powerful. So he definitely, they definitely felt that reputation when he stepped in between him and the, and the snake yeah. lady. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not. But 
but they move on. Oh, dear. No, oh, you have some friends in high places. Hmm. Or low places. Yeah, what, uh, what's that all about? I don't know if it seemed like such a friendly interaction. I hope. I think you would find Libe uh, outside. Ali comes, aren't they cool? She was so pretty. Almost as pretty as me. But not almost. But not more. Yes, yes. If should they come back again, make sure to uh, properly entertain them. And uh, I did, sure. I did. Very well. Good job. They just said they wanted to talk. Yes. Well. Did you <laughs> offer them a cold beverage? No, we don't have any. Oh. Well, we'll have to take care of that. <laughs> yeah. the The cooler room is gone now. <laughs> Yes, I think we're getting off track. Lebe, who were those people? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just being honest here. There was, that was a pretty big guy. Uh, oh. You, you find, uh, you find Lebe um, with a uh, the the shackles on his armor. He's he's taken them off and he's sort of praying over them, just on his knees, sort of hunched over. Well, sand. by that way, by the way, that your unimpeded stride would not have had. I just read it, and it was much higher level than your first level thing. Oh, that's oh, even a second level? Yeah, <laughs> because I think it's okay. So I tried. So yeah, I, yeah. I tried okay. to. But yeah, so <laughs> good story element. Yeah, yeah, that's even that. Yeah, that's even more disheartening that I didn't get out with the the power of Milani. Oh yeah, so that happened. So uh, you... yeah, Lebe is just kind of muttering in the sand outside of the fishery. Uh, I'm he doesn't, going he doesn't to, really answer you. I'm going to clean up uh, uh, the house a little bit and kind of check everything over. Actually, you get back. The place is spotless. Nice. Ali has uh, Ali has been cleaning and dusting and and things, and she's so disappointed and not fresh fish. I, I'll look back and I'll I'll go to I'll go Ali. It was una, I was unaware that that uh, you asked for fresh fresh fish. I'm going to go back and watch the tape from episode two mm -hmm. to see if I actually asked for fresh fish, which I thought I did. Got to go check the receipts. Yeah, we'll see we'll see what this is supposed to be. I may have I may have to. Get this. Uh, I may have trouble. to sue Tamily for. Yeah. I may have to. Uh, give, <laughs> where, where is the nearest fishmonger? <laughs> well, I may have, have, have to give our game right I may have to sue our game master for false representation. <laughs> I thought I asked for fresh fish. Oh, yes, for a barrel of fish. Oh, maybe I did. I'm going to look and see. Yeah, that's fine. Because yeah. No, that's fine. If I, if I if that's that I could have failed in that regard. All right. So I'll oh, we'll spend the evening fishing for. <laughs> yeah, we will. We'll, 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 we'll go with you. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna. We'll, we'll spend. Let's we'll spend a, a, a two days doing some uh, fishing, and we'll try to uh, uh, clean up and, and see if we can get Ollie some stuff. Good idea, Opie. Yeah. yeah, you can give me a survival. Yeah, Venick will definitely go. Well, Venick's a seaman at heart. <laughs> yeah, Venick. yeah, you do have a. You do have a boat. I started mm -hmm. out as a seaman. And you do have a sailor. <laughs> I'm going to just try to help because I'm not trained in survival. You, uh, you, you have you handle the yeah. boat or no? Scum, uh, scumbug is definitely uh, just cleaning up his, his personal room. <laughs> I think uh, honestly, if uh, if these people tracked down Libe to this place, he might like hide somewhere off premises. If we're going to spend any downtime here, well, I will. I will explain to uh, Lee Bay if I can find him that uh, I don't think that they're trying to hurt you. They're trying to get you to do a job for them. Yeah, you know, Lee Bay, true freedom doesn't seem like constantly hiding from your pursuers. No, but once you've escaped from these things, you never really want to go back in them. Well, we should hear what they have to say then. Perhaps it is a small, minor mission that we need to accomplish to uh, wipe your uh, slate clean. But it, it's worse than that. It's, 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 
practically sacrilegious. It, they're, what they're suggesting is it's, it's, it did, it's not right. It didn't happen like that. What if uh, it did? If Milani wants then to Then you, what <laughs> am I but a stray arena dog just doing the bidding of some voice in my head? What, what am I then? If, if, if I wasn't freed from, if I wasn't freed by her grace, then what, what am I? Well, I'm not that... a champion of anything then. Just, just because what you, what you hear in your heart is what you hear. It's not, it's not for someone else to tell you. And I just lost just a Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it sense. still you know, sounded pretty good. You know, <laughs> Li Bei, you're not required to instantly have all the answers to everything. You can uh, take some time and figure this out. We don't have to know everything before we have dinner tonight. <laughs> but there's one thing you should know. You're an essential part of this team, and we couldn't have gotten this far without you. Now you got a big-ass weapon, too. Oh, well, it's, it's true that there is still evil to slay yes here i mean if if there is any purpose of a champion it's it is that and you can is it not an invaluable leader it is just <laughs> i need a promise from all of you that you're not going to let them imprison me again of course not i won't let them not on my watch that you Russia, got it <laughs> <laughs> Th that crusher doesn't understand that he is is he is also enslaved. There's there's no freedom in that arena. You got the feeling they're no longer with the arena. Oh well. Either way, I don't think he uh, probably he might not have clocked that. He might have just seen old faces. That's true. You don't, you've never seen her before. She would stand out. Okay. She's new. Yeah. And she hmm. had no weapons. Yes. Well, and then she gave, did she give her, did she give a name? She did not. He, he, he knew his name, right? You just know him as the crusher, the crusher. whether that's his name or not. You don't know, um, but that was that he was a big draw. Well, I'm going to do I'm going to do a uh, a lore check on the Crusher. The the name the Crusher. I want to find out if I know anything about the, the Crusher. Crusher. Sorry. I can tell you I know several men who were f fed to him like a like bait just to warm up the audience's appetite. Sounds like someone that we could employ, but <laughs> wait, 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 wait. let's come back to that later. Let's resolve your situation first. Let's put that on the back burner. We'll come back to it. Shelved, shelved. So you, you have your dinner and, and you do your little fishing. Yeah. You, you do catch some fish. Okay. And, um, and Ollie's much happier now. And uh, the night passes without any further incident. Um, the next day, right? Um, there's a knocking on your door. People keep coming to our place. It's very popular. Um, uh, I grabbed the mace on my belt. I, I was gonna say, uh, Scumbug is at the door. He's he. Uh, do we have? <laughs> Venic is we absolutely do not have a peephole. But do we have a peephole? <laughs> You, have you can make one. You have a gun. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 the previous Wait. day, I have shot a hole through the door at my eye level so I can see through the door. What do you see? You, you see door. a man's crying. You see a man's crying. Yeah. Oh. I shoot it. Oh, you, see, no. you see another snake. Trouser snake. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, it be a hand to drill. That's what she said. All right. Um, what, <laughs> what are you going? Oh, All right. So what, no, there's no, what are you going to do? Okay. So scumbug is at the door, at the door mm -hmm. and he's like, yeah, uh, who, uh, what do you want? I, I come with a message. For who? 
or Barnaby Dash? Yes. What's the message? Uh, are you Barnaby Dash? Well, yes. He opens the door with Mage Hand. <laughs> so, but, why? Why are you doing this? And he's he's like right in front of the door. He's like, ah. <laughs> I was in the shower. <laughs> he looks like a, a messenger, right? He's he's dressed he's for like the road a, and then whatnot. And he has uh, he has yeah, like this kidding. thing, and he's like looking, and then he looks down. At, I have like, my gun on him. <laughs> Whoa, 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 wait, uh... Well, listen, you just tell the message and it's fine. <laughs> oh my god, what happened to us? Barnaby, it's for you! Uh, I, I, o- Ophi, Ophi steps in front of Scum here, just to like... Uh, so, please forgive so he's my like, companion. He's like, oh, he's like fixated on this on this little goblin, right? And it's like, what the fuck is a goblin? I'm like shooing him to the side around the door. <laughs> And then he, he looks up into Ophi. <laughs> He's like, ah! He Please forgive takes a back my step companion. and like falls down the stairs. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> right. As he falls down the stairs, you see me coming up from my morning walk on the beach. Now you're liable for... I walk up and I look, down, I look down at him like his back. He's looking at me and I say, I say uh, before we continue, could you sign this waiver? <laughs> I, I have not said that, nothing. <laughs> Who are you people? Ah, he's, he's, he's backing away from the, uh, from the place. Let us understand that uh, I am nobody. I'm a, I'm a simple, honest uh, observer. And uh, I it saw It says that. here to look for eyebrows. You have eyebrows. Well, we all have eyebrows. It's <laughs> not like this. There's like Ophi a- Ophi doesn't. Ophi does not have eyebrows. <laughs> Specifically, we all point at Ophi and we're like- you ever notice how Whoopi Goldberg doesn't have eyebrows? Yeah. Like that with Ophi, <laughs> you only see it. You're the Whoopi Goldberg of this of this adventure. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going ghost with you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, uh, I'll, I'll be like, I'll be like, I don't. You didn't come to find me. You came to this door. This is the servants' quarters. I apologize. Uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, what are like you looking need? around for the mansion? That what do you need? Uh, would you like to, uh, to give me the message? Are, are you Barnaby Dash? What a weird name. Yes, yes. It's <laughs> the name of a company. Uh, not, and thankfully, it's not actually ripped off of any other real company. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the, the mayor would like to request your presence. Which presence would he want? Oh, he wants a little toy boat. In a bottle. Oh no my presents. gun again. Excuse me? <laughs> anyway, right, right, right. Uh, scumbug, uh, the ex security, head of our security. <laughs> I get, I get, settle down for a moment and the, we'll, we'll get this thing given. Uh, yes, I appreciate you. Uh, I am Lord Barnaby A.S. Giga Esquire, Silkbane, Dragon Slayer of Otari. So you are Barnaby Dash. You lied to me. Listen to me. I am telling you, if you're not going to be patient enough to hear my full uh, dictation of my name, then you are no good delivery person. And that's why I don't offer you a job. And anyway, what? I, as, as, the, as the owner and proprietor and uh, main uh, personnel advisor within Barnaby Dash, I'd be happy to take this letter. Does he always talk this much? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, okay. He hands it over, turns around and leaves. But it seems the mayor is uh, asking for us. Either, uh, I don't know what this means, but. Uh, is the local constabulary going to be there? Just as so long as did, we're not walking out in chains. Now, all I'm saying is, does his assistant finally figure out where he lives and what he does during the day? Feels, <laughs> once again, it feels weird that, that he, they didn't know. <laughs> Maybe they were new. <laughs> Anyway, maybe it was their first day. I think I think in this particular one case, gentlemen, uh, perhaps I might want to take the uh, trip to into Otari myself. While the rest of you help uh, Libe figure out his uh, social problems, talk amongst yourselves. Do you guys just want to have maybe maybe scumbug? We have a lot of social problems. Maybe you know what? I'm all I'm saying is maybe we have a fun day between the the rest of us. 
Yeah, you got you all enjoy yourselves. Avenic, perhaps you'd like to go with me into town. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. So it is an invitation <laughs> to have dinner. Oh, for you want to be our therapist? Yeah, right, right? Today. yeah. So Benick and I, but I'm not telling them that. I'm telling them that we have an audience. <laughs> And I'm trying to get just me and Benick so I don't have uh, twitchy, itchy, itchy ass fingers <laughs> over here killing everybody in town while I'm trying to ask. For, I'm like, I'm like, uh, sorry, your head was cut off, and could you pass pass the potatoes? No, I'm I'm just wanting Benick and I to go to dinner. <laughs> That's up to you. Yes, we could just wait outside the town hall, or you can just wait here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Over I, here, like, I peer in through the window. This big goofy face. I do. I do think that uh, the the two of us should have therapy with Ophi. <laughs> <laughs> this this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> oh, tell me about your father. We're having dinner right. with the mayor. You guys are having group therapy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, okay, you guys, I like it out. If you guys want it, if you guys want to go to dinner, you're welcome to do. I'm just I'm just saying as a as a uh, as a character barnaby's like the last time i had thinking him, twice about it yeah that's <laughs> fair I'm thinking it's it's like it's probably from a player perspective we can do it over you want but from barnaby's perspective he's like mm, <laughs> this is my my business is being affected by your <laughs> by your rash <laughs> yeah. a little bit all right well i'm gonna head over to dinner I, i'll get myself cleaned up i think libe would maybe agree with that i don't think he wants to deal with the guards yeah and then it is hopefully going to go get get it, get cleaned up a little bit, and he'll go with me. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Then okay. he'll be my. I will introduce you as my associate, but we all know you're my security guard. All right. Oh, yeah. Ovi, can you yeah, tell okay. me why I always want to bite people? <laughs> uh, probably pure aptitude, honestly. <laughs> you're just good at it. <laughs> It, 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 perhaps it's your purpose, you know, when you find something, you, you hold on to it. Um, just like when you bite something, you hold on to it. So I say embrace it. He was never bugs. breastfed yeah. as a child and it just, goes. I'm, you know what? I'm glad I found you guys. You guys have really <laughs> helped me. <laughs> just keep those teeth away from my legs. Let's just remember to practice, practice better trigger discipline around <laughs> the messengers. <laughs> Wow. Okay, then. All right. This is what happens while we're gone, and I'm happy I don't see it. Let's just hope our encounter with the mayor isn't anticlimactic. No kidding. All right. Anything else that you guys are going to do before we go off to the mayor? Not really. I sharpen my axe. All right. Your shiny, sparkly, like, haunted axe. Continue to sharpen it, yes. All right, the, huh. three, the two of us, we're going to go off and, and have dinner at the mayor's house. All right. Uh, <clears throat> you are brought to the, the, to the mayor's office. Uh, the sun is beginning to set. It's, it's early evening when you get there. All right. Uh, and you are you're brought into uh, Mayor Osef Menhems. Osef Menhems? Menhems. M-E-N-H-E-M-E-S. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> he is the mayor, and he is also the owner of the flume. Oh, nice. This mm -hmm. is exactly what I want to see. Perfect. Mr. Madhams, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Greetings. Please. Your worship. Have a seat. Yes, this is my associate, uh, Venick Blackhand. Where is the rest of your party? They are taking care of other corporate affairs. We have many different mm. interests and in var varied across all of Otari and uh, the South that we must take care of. That's a shame. I was hoping to meet you all. I apologize. But uh, trust me, you're probably better off with this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for your work with the flume. Clark tells me you did a, an, an admirable job. It wasn't just me, though I did most of it. Uh, the, 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 our, our team did, oh, no. pulled their own weight and, and helped the defeat this creature. It's a good thing Levi wasn't there. Be like, Levi, I killed everything. 
See, uh, see according to Barnaby, I, I, since he's under my employment, everything he does, I guess, get transferred rights to. Right? Oh, absolutely. He, <laughs> I mean, he's management. <laughs> management. I, I take, he's I credit, I take credit for everything. Uh, and, but blame for nothing. <laughs> and blame for nothing. You, you, you know how this works. Well, I do. Well, you are a manager in real life. You know I am a manager. Life. Yeah. Hope none of your employees are watching right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, no, I, I, I applaud them when it's deserved. Good, co- good, good cover. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. But so, um, so this isn't the first time things have happened, right? There are other entities. There are other corporations that are also in wood now this this office his office is beautifully appointed with like you know, super polished wood lots of fancy wood the table is like you know this beautiful like mahogany and and stuff like that it's, it's, he's he's very wealthy it's obvious that he's he has some money um if he can if he owns the flume he has uh, a monopoly on that service right and um if that's not there, then you know, then there's issues. All right. So he goes on to explain that there are two other large lumber corporations um, in the in the uh, Star. What is his, his What is his lumber corporation called? Starstone Isles. Um, it's uh, it's Menhem's. It's the Wenham, Menhem's Consortium. Okay. Okay. And, and then, then and who, are, who are these competing factors? Well, the two major ones are the Cortos Consortium and the Whistle Down Cutters, owned by the Ingle, the Ingleholtz family. In- uh, Ingle Ingleholtz. Ingleholtz, I'm sorry. Ingleholtz, yeah. Yes. Uh, they are local. They are also out of Otari. The Whistle Downs. The Whistle Down Cutters. Uh, they have a, a, a camp not far from here. Aye. Um, but the Cortos Consortium, they're out of Absalom. And they're big. They are they are scattered across the entire inner sea. So you, I'm going to take the assumption that you believe that the Cortos Consortium most likely does not have anything to do with this, because they are so vast and expansive that the local whistle down. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've always had a good relationship with the Inkleholtz family. They have been in Otari for a number of years, and uh, competition is always good for business. Mm. The Cortos Consortium, they are not as pleasant to deal with. All right. Well, so what I request. Uh, of you is to go to the Inkleholtz uh, camp and speak with them and see what you can ascertain. All right. And I understand you have some knowledge with laws. Yes, yes. I I indeed am a lawyer as well as a lord. Uh, And all of your group will be witnesses if there are Less than honorable things happening. Yes. Also, um, because of the nature of the group I'm bringing, uh, do you happen to have a speak with Dead Scroll? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Just in case we need to question someone. I assume the people I hire have their own supplies. Well, that would be depending on how much you're willing to pay then, either... We, I can expense it myself. Or... He puts down, he pulls out a, a bag from thing and sets down. I'm not even going to bother counting it because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm going to pick it up. 
and put it over. Can I give it a like? But but give me a consider a this a retainer. Very well. Retainer. I will go speak to the anchor. Anchor. He's, anchor he's looking at you, and he he looks at the bag, looks at you. I accept your offer. It's five gold pieces. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like one million copper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, it's 50 gold Okay, when you get to it. Nice. That's pretty good. You know what that means? Somebody else is going to get a... a, a Potency room? Right? Well, we, we'll figure it out. Somebody's going to get some. We, we have, we have a, enough to get somebody else some magic stuff, so we're going to look into it. But, um, and we'll, we'll, since we're running out of time tonight, we'll, we'll, we'll plan on what we're going to do on, uh, in the between schedule so we don't take time here. We'll just do some messaging and figure out what we're going to buy. Sure. Is that fine, guys? So we'll just do mm-hmm. some shopping in the meantime. But uh, I, I will, yeah. I will reach out and I'll shake his hand if you if you'll shake mine. Yeah, he grabs it. Uh, you can tell that he, he might be older, but he was a lumberjack at some point. He has a very firm grip. As do I. Good. Because That's I don't have ask. a girlfriend. No, and, I will shake hands as well. <laughs> and, don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Jesus. And he his grip tightens on your on your on your hand yeah. almost painfully. Nice. Right? And he pulls you in close. Do not threaten my functionaries again. Well, I shall tell you that it was my indeed my employees, and they have been dealt with. Excellent. It was a minor misunderstanding when it all comes down to it. We do apologize. Mr. Blackhand. I, I, uh, you are not the first, as I'm sure you've heard. So I keep my distance from upstart adventuring parties that think they can just burst into. But Clort, who I trust, put in a word for you, saying that while you were perhaps difficult to deal with, <laughs> that you also had ability. And I trust Clort. Well, I am not difficult to deal with. However, I hire people who can take care of business, a business that's unsavory, and sometimes it can be difficult. I to do deal not with. wish to know these things. You don't need to. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It has been a pleasure. Come along, <laughs> Barnaby. Yes. I think our business is concluded. But here. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a very nice meal. It's yeah. like. Uh, you know, uh, pheasant, roasted pheasant, and, nice, and you know, carrots in, in like a, a, a molasses sauce, and Ooh. and potatoes, roasted potatoes, and mm. the whole thing. It was, it was a very good meal, and there's a lot of food. Oh, I eat it all too. They were expecting <laughs> expecting the whole lot of us. Four more people. Yeah. Barbie, <laughs> do you take like a to-go plate, a little tin foil wrap? <laughs> yeah, Can I get a doggy a, bag. Ask for a doggy bag. Anyway, a we'll, we'll, paper we'll eat plates. our fill, drink our fill without getting drunk. I don't want to get drunk. That's not preventing to the side. And then we'll head back okay. to tell everybody. And with that, we'll probably be the time because it's already it's time to wrap up, I think. All right. Yes. Um, yep. Fun. Cool. All right. Well, we got it. We have uh looks like we have uh some some more uh mm. missions to go to go on to. So so we'll be next week we'll be here and then and hopefully Nate will be back. And then the week after that, we, I think, will be the last weekend of the Renaissance Festival, which I think is Zach and I are both busy that night. Yeah. So, so pretty um, busy week. Yeah, <laughs> that busy one. Week. So, we're, we're, we'll be out for that. But okay. So, we'll see everybody next week for, for episode seven. And then eight will be two, two weeks after that. Sounds All good. right. Let's have some fun. That was, that was a fun, a lot of role playing stuff tonight. And, uh, Thanks for uh, everybody being here. You guys have a good night. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks, bye. Easy. <laughs>